Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any problem from your side. Today our comedy continues. Yesterday somebody sent me a video. Additional to the video where Muhammad uh, Hijab and his uh, uh, Bilal Ali Dawa they are saying they will not debate me and which mean don't wait for it. I, I know they will not debate me, but you know, we gave them a chance to see if they are really brave to so or to, to do so. Uh, so forget about the debate. Obviously, they have they knew that they are no match. And actually, I am not really interested in debating them. They are just a bunch of kids. It's not my level, but as you know, I take everybody. I take everybody, it doesn't matter how big, how small he is. And it doesn't matter. For me, every human being need to be rescued. We don't debate a person or speak to a person because he is rich or poor, or because he is smart or stupid. Every human being is a creation of God, and he be loved by the Father. So we don't people put down, but we put down liars. And we expose liars. Mr. Hijab, he made a new video to explain. Guys, I'm going to do something evil. I'm planning to do something evil right now. I don't know if I can share that with you, but it's really, really evil, at least in the eyes of the Mohammedan. <sighs> I hope that will not make the Muslims leave the chat. I'm going to put in the screen an image of something Muslims really, really don't like and they consider evil. But it's not the point. I'm not trying to make the Muslims leave. Please don't leave. It's a black dog there. You see, when Muhammad he said that the black dog is the devil, Muhammad explained to us a very important part of his mindset, how he view things around him, how he look at things around him. In order to understand someone, you need to understand his fiction, his logic, his intelligence, his stupidity, everything he say is very important. When Muhammad he said the black dog is a, is a devil and he distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog, which means only the black dog is a devil, only the black horse, any animal in Islam is totally black is the devil. And this is not, now I'm not going to talk about how much Muhammad is racist, obviously he is, but here I'm going to talk about the stupidity of someone he can be a leader so why I will wonder that the follower of the leaders they are not smart today Muhammad hijab he made a video to explain why he said Allah he pray for and the video down in the info you can click in it and you can watch it and you can die laughing this guy is a certified idiot he tried to fix it, he made it blind. That's what we say in the Middle East. Like there is somebody, he have a problem with his eye. They tried to fix his eye, they made him blind. So this guy, obviously, he is receiving a hate wave from the Abdul, torturing him for what he said in the debate. How you say that? How could you? They are laughing at us. They are laughing at our religion. How you say such an answer in a debate, in an official debate, not like... Uh, you know this is official supposedly and you claim victory so the guy the poor guy he have to explain what's happening but by trying to explain he made or he cause his God and his prophet not only an insult or let us say the injury always already happened he added insult to injury 
I wish I can play his video here in this channel, but I will not. I have it in the other channel, which is not really important for me. Click at the link down in the info and watch the video and die laughing. And tell me, Muslims, any Muslim who is life right with me, I want you to watch this video and tell me, don't you think that this guy is insulting your prophet and he is exposing him? Do you think really I want one one Muslim he have any kind of honesty to call me and tell me what do you think about this guy? Watch the video and die laughing. Hijab, he did this in his video, which is down there in the link, which is something you can watch. We are not claiming things. And look like he was taking hashish. Muhammad Hijab, he wanted to prove to us or to let us say not to us sorry to the Muslims why he said that Allah pray for he said that he was refuting David Wood because David Wood was claiming that Allah pray to Muhammad worship Muhammad but David would never say that in the video never never what David was trying to, to prove that Allah he pray that's the whole story go watch the video and see yourself nowhere he said that Allah is worshiping Muhammad nowhere the whole argument is about what about Allah praying if Allah is God he pray to who this is why David Wood was saying well for us as, a, as people who believe believe in the Trinity it makes sense to believe that no problem that Jesus he prayed to the Father But when Allah he pray he pray to who this is what David Wood was talking about there is nowhere he said that he is asking uh, the guy Abdul hijab uh, why Allah he worship Muhammad he didn't say that nowhere and now he wanted to prove that he was right in that answer to the Abdul not to us so look what he said he said as an example there's a chapter chapter 9 verse 103 it says, خُذْ مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَ تُطَهِّرَهُمْ وَتُذَكِّيهُمْ بِهَا وَصَلِّيَ عَلَيْهِمْ He is quoting for us this verse. And he is saying that this verse is exactly the same as that verse. It says, وَصَلِّيَ عَلَيْهِمْ The Prophet here, he pray on them. And he says here, so when the Prophet, he said, pray on them, does that mean he is worshipping them? Is that mean he is worshiping them? I mean, how stupid this guy is. You just now admitted and you convinced us again twice. You see, you cannot explain it how stupid you are more than doing it twice. What do you want to do? Do I do it three times now? How many videos do you need to make to explain? And now each time you try to explain, you dig down look what he did guys by saying that again the video is down there in the info you can watch it later by saying and admitting that the word here which says pray on pray on is exactly the same as when the verse saying allah and the angels pray on muhammad pray on First of the debate, you did not say pray on, you said pray for, and you repeat that twice. And you went, you, you made a mockery of David, David Wood. But David Wood did not say don't even pray on, he said pray for. Now he tried to fix it, he said, no, no, um, it is a pray on, okay? And it is the same as a pray on in this verse. But look here what happened. As long he admitted that Allah, he pray on. The same as this verse. You just admitted that Allah cannot be God. Because Muhammad, he pro pray on their behalf to supplicate to who? To pray for who? To pray to the Muslims. He's not worship the Muslims. He pray for them. He is asking God to forgive them. Allah, he pray on Muhammad. And as you said, when we say pray on, it means he pray. Muhammad, he pray on now. 
pray on the Muslims, but doing what by praying on the Muslims? He's asking, supplicating to God to forgive them. Okay. Allah, he pray on Muhammad, supplicating to who? You see how slow those people are? By doing that, by comparing between this verse, yourself, and you are the one who choose it, and you are the one who select the verse, and you are the one who say this is the verse will give us the best example. So you cannot now take it back. By choosing this verse, you just prove to us that Allah cannot be God. If we go to Ibn Kathir to see what to pray on mean, as long he's saying pray on here is the same as pray on in the other verse where Allah pray and the angels of Muhammad. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. In Ibn Kathir it says, وَصَلِّي عَلَيْهِمْ وَصَلِّي عَلَيْهِمْ Here we have it in English. And salli for them. Salli in Arabic means pray. Means supplicate for them. Okay, wonderful. That's really fantastic. Muhammad, pray on Abdul. That's fantastic. And Allah, pray. On Muhammad. That's wonderful. As long you are the one who chose this verse to explain that what the word here pray mean. That it's not Allah worshiping Muhammad and it's not Muhammad worshiping the Muslims. It mean he pray. As simple as that now what to pray mean means supplicate in the case of the first verse Allah supplicate for Muhammad I mean here actually sorry not this one here Allah, when he pray on Muhammad, he supplicate for Muhammad. The supplication is for the benefit of who? For Muhammad. In this verse here, the supplication for the benefit of who? Of the Abdul. But both of them, it's about supplicate. And hear how hijab showed again how stupid he is because he just proved that Allah he supplicate to other God you are the one who chose this verse you are the one who elect this verse you are the one who is saying this verse is the same exact at that verse he tried to prove to us that Allah when he pray on Muhammad he is not worshiping Muhammad No, he don't worship Muhammad. This is what he's saying. He supplicate for Muhammad. <coughs> well, this is what David Wood was saying to you in the debate, idiot. This is exactly what David Wood, he said to you. And now you are confirming it again and adding insult to injury. And now we have a problem. We have Muhammad and Allah, both they supplicate. Muhammad, he supplicate to Allah. Allah supplicate to a higher rank. Who is that? I will give you names. You choose one. Supplicate maybe to Jibreel. Maybe supplicate for welfare in the UK government. For they kick him out of the job for he was a teacher and they found him that he is not fit to teach children's violence. Or maybe Allah was supplicating for asylum with the UK government. Allah supplicating to who? This is the question. This is what the whole the debate was about. 
you you the whole debate is about what it's about tawheed versus the trinity so allah is god but now you confirm to us that allah who you think he is god he supplicate how in the world he is god and he supplicate and as you see here this is not my tafsir this is ibn kathir it says and salli for them what salli for them mean pray for them pray you muslims could not find somebody to defend islam better than those kids and yet after eight hours from the debate they ask you for fifty thousand pound donation isn't it obvious that this is a scam They made a video saying 160,000 Muslims left Islam. Donate for us if you want to go to heaven. And by the way, I'm so grateful that you chose this verse for us because this verse is a priceless verse proving to us that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. This verse is like a stone hit two birds in one time. It hit it hit the hit, hit Muhammad and the, and the, and and Allah, not the hijab. Hijab is so small to hit him with a rock. Uh, if we go back in the verse, you will see the following. <clears throat> Allah saying to Muhammad, you see, Muhammad, he claimed always that he is not he is not the one asking you for money. It's not him. It's it's God. I mean, come on. I'm just telling you what Allah he asked me. Of their goods, take alms. Though so, thought might purify and sanctify them. Oof, 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 oof. If I give alms, what will happen exactly, guys? If I give money to Muhammad, what exactly will happen? Read carefully with me, and I want any Muslim to prove me wrong. Feel free to call me. My Skype is open. All you Muslim. I don't want to take a call from any Christian. <clears throat> take alms. So what? So my, you might what? Purify, sanctify, and pray in their behalf. All of this because I gave you money. The prophet is the same as a Pepsi Cola machine. You don't put the coins, there is no Pepsi. The second you put the coins, he sanctify, he purify, he pray in your behalf. You do not even need to pray. No, no, just pay me. A brother, a brother, pay me and I will pray in your behalf. Why you want to go and pray? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik. With me, uh, brother, what the verse in chapter uh, uh, nine, verse 103 speak of that we, if we pay to the prophet, he will pray in their behalf. What does that mean exactly? Brother Sitter, first of all, I assure you, and I'm very sure that the one behind this question, his name is the Christian prince. First of all, Christian prince, he is not an Arab. I have a true information that he's the black, blonde, African American from Japan. And this is a true information. Brother, we don't care if he's black, blonde, African American from Japan or not. Can you explain to us the verse? I'm coming to you. Have patient. The Quran says in chapter 13, but 13, or kind of insan adula. The human being always in rust. Don't be in rust. The answer will come to you. Brother, that verse is saying. That if you pray to the prophet, you give him some coins. You don't have to pay him a lot of money. Just give him some coins. As an example, like $5,000. Some coins. And in return of that, the prophet is hired by Allah to pray in your behalf. And sanctify you and purify you. You see how beautiful that is? You do not need to wake up in the morning. You do not need to bend over. You do not need to do anything. You pay to the prophet, the prophet, you do it in your behalf. That's very beautiful. I would, I can do it right now. Abdul, 
I am Muhammad. Who wanna pay me money? I will pray on your behalf. This is religion. Since when, if we pay a guy, he pray in our behalf? I hope it's a Muslim. Hello. <coughs> Hello. My friend, don't give me a verse. Uh, you know, a Muslim is saying to me, the Quran says that after down, down the Pharaoh, body was preserved. My friend, <clears throat> all those hocus in the Quran is stupid. First of all, how you can call the Pharaoh Pharaoh? Which Pharaoh now we will talk about? Pharaoh is not a name of a person. You see, the Quran speak about the Pharaoh as if he is a person. Somebody he sent me. This guy is trying to call me. He sent me, uh, uh, you know, saying a claim that the Pharaoh did not. Uh, the Quran says that uh, they preserve his body, and the body of the Pharaoh was found to be preserved. Abdul, what are you talking about? What Pharaoh? It's like saying the president. Which president? The first mistake the Quran do. Muhammad, he think Pharaoh is the name of the king. Pharaoh is not the name of a king. There's no king. His name is Pharaoh. How he became Pharaoh? Pharaoh is a title, is a job. So which Pharaoh we are talking about? I don't want to change my topic, but just for for the sake of your eye. Uh, by the way, if you pay me, I will pray in your behalf and I will purify you and sanctify you. Don't forget that. And this is a clear sign that Muhammad is a prophet of God. And by the way, Muhammad, uh, Ramsi is a great for own. My, my friend, my friend, get my book, get my book, The Deception of Allah and Quran and Science. You will see the refutation for all those lies. Don't waste my time. It's a joke. And instead of asking yourself, the Pharaoh was preserved, what about we check the story of the Pharaoh and see how funny it is in the Quran? Oh, Lord have mercy. Call me, my friend, call me. I'm trying to switch to Arabic. All right, finally. Uh, in chapter 2 verse number 50 it says فرعون, how he 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 drowned him and then how he preserved how he is drowned and how he is a pro, pro, you know preserved if you go in the verse let us read, read together and laugh وَإِذَا فَرَّقْنَا بِكُمْ الْبَحْرِ فَأَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ وَأَغْرَقْنَا آلَ فَرْعَوْنِ The Quran claimed that all the people of the Pharaoh, they die. And who is Pharaoh? I challenged the Muslim to tell me which Pharaoh, Pharaoh we are talking about. Which Pharaoh is the one who was chasing Moses? Where well, we can find his name? Anyone? How we will know which who is this guy? The Quran keep repeating the word Pharaoh all over, but never say to us who is Mr. Pharaoh. If you continue, you will find something more stupid about this Pharaoh. The Muslims they say to us that Allah He sent only Muhammad to other nations. He is the only international prophet. Moses was a messenger. Only for the Jews. But in chapter 7, verse 103, it says that Allah He sent Aaron and Moses as a messenger to the Pharaoh. Do you see it? Which Pharaoh? When you say we send our sign to Pharaoh, you see, it doesn't say the Pharaoh. Guys, do you notice with me? 
it doesn't say the Pharaoh it says Pharaoh that's mean Muhammad he think Pharaoh is a name of a person do you see it not to the Pharaoh which means to the king like because Pharaoh is a, is a title he think he think that Pharaoh is the name of the guy What Ramsey is the great? Why, why Muhammad? Why Allah did not say Ramsey is the great? He said to Pharaoh, Do you know how many Pharaohs there is? You see, if I say to you, I uh, I risk, uh, I risk, I, I did rescue Muhammad hijab from being kicked by David. Okay, which David? At least David is a name, but there's millions of David. But imagine I say to you, I rescue him from uh, the king, a wood king. What king? Which king we are talking about? Why you are saying to Pharaoh? Why you are not saying to the Pharaoh? If you go in the Arabic text, you will see it says the following. You see in Arabic, if it is a title, we add two letters in the front a l l for own if it is a name it come without l this is why el messiah is not a name it's a title this is why you will not find one muslim there to name his, his son al messiah but they call his son isa they call their son muhammad but because this is a great title it's a name of God nobody dare to call his son al Messiah because that mean he claiming that this his son is al Messiah the Messiah and that will cause death penalty so Muhammad speak about the Pharaoh as if he is a person who his name is Pharaoh so when the Muslims lie to you and they say they found a body of a Pharaoh was preserved what what Pharaoh and look guys look what look what Musa says to Pharaoh just to show you that this is a name this is not a title in chapter 7 verse 104 Musa says to Pharaoh what <laughs> Musa said oh Pharaoh oh Pharaoh Musa says oh Pharaoh trust me my friend if Musa speak this way to the Pharaoh they will execute him right away he will be exec executed in the spot what of oh Pharaoh that's it it's like saying to me like going to uh, to the to to a king this is a king this is literally a king a scary king who he think he's all, all, all almost equal to God and imagine I go to him and say here Abdul let us say his name is Abdul and I say to him here Abdul I will be executed immediately oh Pharaoh then it says here that Musa says to the Pharaoh or Pharaoh sorry I came to you with a sign from Allah but the Muslims they lie to us and they say the only prophet was sent to other nations is Muhammad the international prophet but as you see here Musa is going to the Pharaoh or Pharaoh but is a Pharaoh is an Hebrew guy is he from different nation so why Muhammad is sent to Pharaoh all the story about the Pharaoh Muslims they try to copy from the Jewish scriptures and Muhammad he messed it up then <clears throat> let us show you more so we can love more <laughs> look how many times the name of Pharaoh appear <laughs> uh, <coughs> hmm all those verses is about about Pharaoh who is the Pharaoh nobody knows okay look what it says what Joe was not be Benny is right a little bar for home for own but the bar home for all what you know the whole so Pharaoh and his army they followed him and then the Quran confirmed 
that Pharaoh he was drowned he was drowned who is the Muslim agree with this who is the Muslim willing to call me and he say he agree with this because there's a there's a mistake here Muhammad he made in the Quran Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim want to call us? So we can examine together what happened here. There is very important thing to understand which Pharaoh Muhammad is talking about. chapter 26 28 verse number six it says that there's a guy his name is Haman and his name repeated many times and supposedly Haman is the leader or he's a minister for the Pharaoh or who is who is called Pharaoh but who is Haman any Muslim can tell me who is Haman is Haman really was a Egyptian person? Do we have any Muslim want to call us? The distance between Haman and Pharaoh is one thousand year. How Haman became a minister in the time of Pharaoh and he is exist with Pharaoh. History report that Haman he was a minister uh, to the king, his name Ashawish, Ashawirish, I think. And the way we know we are trying to find out who is the Pharaoh was in the time of Moses and then we try to find when Haman was exist we will find there's more than a thousand years before them how we know that Haman was not in the time of the Pharaoh the one they are talking about because the book of the Old Testament speaking about Haman who was a minister for the king of the Persian he was not even an Egyptian Muhammad he made a mistake he mixed between the two names while in the Quran the Quran confirmed that Haman and the Pharaoh both are Egyptian and not only that he confirmed another name which is Qarun who is Qarun? Uh, we are, we are our God. Let me see. A Muslim he is sending me insult. Okay. Did you read over your own book, stupid Lebanese donkey? Your Pharaoh is not, Bible is not name either. In Exodus, you don't have name for Pharaoh in your Bible. Well, what a joke. My friend, we do not need to have a name for Pharaoh but in my Bible does not consider Pharaoh as a name of a person in your Quran it is a name of a person in my book it's a title of the king and there is a huge difference between this and that same time don't insult donkeys your prophet he married from a woman her last name is Jash which means donkey and his last name is Kilab which means dogs stay away from animals leave them alone When you speak and you say Ila Fara'un, Ila Fara'un, you are talking about individual. His name is Pharaoh. 
not someone he is a king and his title is the Pharaoh when you say that Pharaoh and Haman and uh, Qarun three they used to be exist in the same time that's mean whoever wrote this book is a donkey and he have no idea what he's talking about According to your prophet in the Quran, Allah He sent Musa to three names: Pharaoh, Haman, and Qarun. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the connection between Pharaoh, Haman, and Qarun. Any Muslim can tell us? Hello. To Pharaoh, not to the Pharaoh, to Pharaoh, Haman, and Quran and and Karun, which is the the name of Karun in Arabic. Allah He sent Musa to them. Where is Mister Karun is located? Karun is an Israeli man. Have nothing to do with the Pharaoh. Haman is a Persian man, has nothing to do with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh himself has nothing to do with the Pharaoh because Muhammad considered Pharaoh as a name of a person, not as a title. And to prove to you that Muhammad, he have no idea what is written there and who is, who is Musa's anyway. Guys, in the Quran, you will see Muhammad, he said the following. Let us laugh, just for the sake of education. And again, if anyone, any Muslim would like to call me, please feel free. Read with me what Muhammad, he said, showing us that he is a false prophet. According to Muhammad, the Jews, the Jews, they've been deceived by a summary. Who is the summary? Hello? A summary is a person who lives in a city. It's called a Samira. But that city was not exist in the time of Musa's. And there is no Samaritan, no Samaritan at that time. How Musa met with them, and they are not exist those people yet. Do we have any Muslim? Do you see it? Imagine I say to you, Musa he met with the German. He met with a German guy and he mislead him. But at that time, there was no German. There's no Germany. That explained to us what? That Muhammad is disconnected with history and dates. How Musa he met the Samaritan? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Are you telling me that Muhammad he knew which Pharaoh died in the ocean, but he do not know if Musa's he met a Samaritan or not? So how that is perfect for you, and this is this is now is exist. What we would do with this one? Let us say, for the sake of argument, what you're saying is true. How Allah makes such a mistake, saying that Musa's he met with a Samaritan, and he the, the, the this guy he did mislead them. Any Abdul? How your God make a mistake says that Haman is a minister of Pharaoh. When he is a minister of the Persian king. How your God says that Qarun, he was an Egyptian guy when he was an Israeli. Quran is a, is a series of mistakes, especially when it's come to history. Muhammad obviously he have no idea what he's reading and what he's talking about 
and just to prove to you that Muhammad he think Pharaoh is a name of a man Muhammad he claim that Allah in the judgment of, uh, in, like in heaven Allah will give him the mother of Jesus that's because he's filthy and he will have in his bed the sister of the Pharaoh What? Actually, sorry, not the sister, the, the wife of the Pharaoh, <laughs> not, not the sister. If we go here, just to, just just for a laugh, you see, your prophet is the same as uh, Muhammad Hijaz. He he make poo poo. The the more he talk, the more he make poo poo. Uh. guys. Do you see here what it says? Muhammad is counting the names. Allah is going to marry him in the heaven. So he count the following. Those are his wives. There's wives in the earth and there's wives in the future. This man is a madman. Even the dead one, he is going to have sex with them. Including, this is how much Muslim they respect Jesus. They say that the filthy Muhammad is going to have sex with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Allah Messenger said, many amongst men attend perfection, but amongst women, none attend perfection except Mary, the daughter of Amran, and Asiyah, the wife of Pharaoh. See, he think that Pharaoh is a name, and Asiyah is a name. She is the sister of Pharaoh, not the sister of the Pharaoh, the sister of Pharaoh. In different hadith, Muhammad confirmed that he is going to have sex with her. And actually, in different hadith, Muhammad, he said, when his Khadija, his wife Khadija, she was dying, he said to her, send my greeting with you to, to my wives. Imagine how filthy he is. His wife is dying, and now he's asking her to send his greeting. Khadija, she said to him, greeting to who? Did you marry any women before me, Muhammad? He said, no, my greeting to the women who Allah promised me to marry in heaven. My greeting to women who Allah promised me to marry from heaven. The woman is dying, yet he is thinking about sending a greeting to his future wives. Isn't it telling you that this guy is a heavy mental issue? Imagine my wife is dying, and I am thinking now, right? Hey wife, you are dying, right? Please don't forget to say hi to my future wives. Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim wanna call me and challenge me about the issue of Pharaoh? I like to take a challenge. Any Muslim? Who is the Muslim when I call me? And let us see which one is accurate in the Bible or in the Quran. Which one he got things correct? The Bible mentioned Pharaoh, yes, but mentioned him as a king and gave the name. What is the name of your king? The one you are talking about there is no name because simply Muhammad he think that this Pharaoh is the name of the king this is his name his name is Pharaoh the wife of Pharaoh what wife of Pharaoh it's the same saying the wife of king what king As you see, all of them, they have names. Muhammad, he count Pharaoh as a name. Who is this Pharaoh?
and look here just to make it more clear in this hadith the Muslim they wrote it in Arabic which is even nicer look what it says Maryam bin to Imran it's the name of a person Khadija bin to Khawalid the wife of Muhammad the old woman who married her for her money Fatima bin to Muhammad the daughter of Khadija which is considered a stepdaughter to Muhammad and Asiya the wife of Pharaoh you see how the name of Pharaoh come not the Pharaoh not a title of Pharaoh like saying the name the, the wife of Omar the wife of uh, uh, of Abu Bakr the wife the wife of a guy what his name Pharaoh how Muhammad makes such a mistake The story of the Pharaoh is full of mistakes from the beginning to the end. Who is the Muslim wanna call me? Last call, Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday. In the same time, the Bible gives us an accurate information. If we go and check out who is Haman, we will find the Bible send us, send us who is Haman. Haman is a minister for a king from Persia. He had nothing to do with Egypt and he was not exist with the time of Moses. There's a 1000 year difference between them. How Muhammad made such a mistake? How Muhammad claimed that Haman was a minister for the Pharaoh? The same mistake Muhammad he do regarding Moses and Mary. In the Quran, Muhammad he claimed that Mary she is the sister of Aaron Aaron is the brother of Moses Aaron and Mary and Moses three of them they have one father his name is Umran <laughs> Umran Abdul or Imran Depending on how you you uh, pronounce it in English, how that happened? And you are telling me your prophet he knew history. How Mary she became the sister of Aaron, and three of them they have one father. His name is Amron. Any Muslim can explain to us? You see the difference between us and you Muslims you claim that you have knowledge but you don't allow anyone to call you if you want to debate you choose a topic prepare for it for three months and you like to do it only in certain formats so nobody will get you busted and if you want to debate you debate only about the Trinity the second we go in details about your cult you go mute where is the guy who was showing me he want to talk about Scientific discovery in the Quran. Where is the science in the Quran? The Quran is a book of science since when? Isn't it your Quran says all the stupid things as an example about the creation of the babies, how it was created? Who is a Muslim wanna call me and show me a, a scientific miracle in the Quran? The guy he's saying to me. Okay, where it says the name of the Pharaoh in the Bible. Okay, so why you don't call me and I will show you the name, my friend? Why you don't call me? It's a challenge. I will show it to you in the front of your screen and I will make you read it. Hello? Hassan, Hassan, call me. Don't call me, I will call you. <laughs> Coward, he hang up. Who is next? Who's next? Who is a Muslim would like to call us?
Muhammad is going to marry the, the, the wife of Pharaoh and by the way what's wrong with this guy why he want to marry the wife of everybody why Muhammad how Muhammad even he knew about the wife of Pharaoh I mean how Allah he met you see Allah is a is a is a is a dating match website Allah he assigned to Muhammad Mary the mother of Jesus look how filthy Mary she have a husband who I see ya. Asiya, why why Allah want to give Asiya to to uh, to uh, to Muhammad? If if there is a woman is exists, it's called Asiya. I don't know why even he's got a name. How Muhammad? Why Muhammad will marry her? I mean, he have many wives already. Why Allah want to give him the wife of the Pharaoh? Can somebody tell me why? The wife of the Pharaoh. Look like Muhammad, he heard that Asiya, the wife of the Pharaoh, she was very good in bed. Maybe finally he will be able to do it. She will teach him. By the way, I'm not making fun. Muhammad, he never made, I, I don't want to, I'm not speaking filthy, but this is truth. Muhammad, he never made his wife have orgasm, and I can prove it. And that to prove that Muhammad is suffering from a sexual, this is why you see, when somebody is suffering from, from, uh, from sexual problem, he talked too much about his ability because he can't, he don't have it. He tried to prove himself to be a hero. If, if, if all the women will be his women, he can sleep with everybody. Muhammad he claimed that he used to have sex with all his wives in Fisa. Sa in the old old language in Arabic language, it's equal to fifteen to twenty minutes. Sa the word Sa today is equal to one hour. In the time of Muhammad, it was between fifteen to twenty. How Muhammad can have sex with the twin, with all the wives he have in less than twenty minutes? He's a rabbit. And then we find that Muhammad, he never had sex with them. It was a lie. Read it. Uh, Abdul, he said he don't want to end my career, guys. The reason he don't want to talk to me in Skype because he don't want to end my career. Do you see it? <clears throat> please, please call me and end my career. Please. We are desperately looking for it. Call me Hassan. I will call you Hassan. I will call you. I cannot wait to end my career, my friend. <coughs> Answer, you coward. What a potato you are. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guys, uh, what I can do? He don't want to end my career. I mean, the prophet continues for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. Do you see it, Muslim? Do you see it, or I'm making things up? I challenge any Muslim to tell me what was the real reason for Muhammad to have such a problem. Who is the Muslim wanna do so? Any Abdul? Uh, Muhammad Hijab. Hey, let us see if this is the guy himself. I see, I see a name, Muhammad Hijab. Let us see if this is him or someone else. I'm calling him. Answer. Muhammad Hijab. Go, kid, go. Don't text me. If you don't dare to talk to me, what Muhammad Hijab? Muhammad Hijab? I know it looked like him. 
Call me. Let us see if this is true. Let us see if this guy he dare even to do it. And it says there he is active. You see it? Go ahead. Come on. Let me call you. What's wrong? Are we going to spend the night? Call me and call you? Answer, you are active, you are there. I, get, I have no time for kids. Anyway, Muhammad, he never, never, never was able to have any sexual relationship with his wives for real. If you go in different hadith, you will see Muhammad saying the following. I want the Muslims to read with me and love. And by the way, this is a very clear evidence uh, that Muhammad is a prophet. Uh, guys, read with me. Read with me, please. The wife of Muhammad, she never have orgasm. The wife of Muhammad, she never ever had an orgasm. Read, read carefully with me. Here they are talking about a woman having water because she have orgasm in her private part. Muhammad, he answered her, um, answer her. She is asking if she should wash. Muhammad, he said, in case a woman sees that, she must take a bath. Umm Sulaim said, Umm Sulaim, Sulaim said, I was bashful on account of that and said, does it happen? Ah... <laughs> uh. Why those women they are asking such a question anyway? Muhammad is the consultant for vagina in town. They are asking the Prophet if they should wash their vagina or not. And how a woman in the world she is coming to the Prophet with no shame saying to him that yesterday I was imagining someone with me and he did bing bing bong bong. And Muhammad is telling her details about what she saw inside her private part if it's a yellow water. And then Muhammad he claimed that the orgasm, the water of the orgasm, the women she see in her vagina, the liquid there, is the reason for the baby to resemble the parents, as you see, which is ab ab absolutely scientifically correct. Do you see it? Do we have any Muslim? In this hadith, Muhammad, he make it more clear. It sounds like Muhammad hijab explaining sex and gender. In this hadith, the wife of Muhammad, she said to Muhammad, do women have that? She never have this charge. This is his wife. The wife of Muhammad, she never has, has a this charge. Look what happened. Umm Salim asked the messenger of Allah about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which a man sees? What the heck? The messenger of Allah, who is expert in sexuality, he used to, port, to work in a Playboy station. She said 
if she sees that and she and has this charge then let her perform bath Umm Salama the wife of Muhammad said oh messenger of Allah does that really happen <laughs> Hey, by the way, Muslims, is that his wife or this is someone else? Isn't this his wife? Who's a Muslim when I call me? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul when I call us? Why this woman, she is surprised that the women she have orgasm. And why Muhammad here is being so much scientifically correct and look what he said Muhammad the expert in gender and DNA he said yes when she said to him does that really happen he said like yes it does happen yes you ignorant I am dr. Muhammad yes let me explain to you the water of the man is thick and white look like they never saw the water of the man before the wife of Muhammad, she never thought, never saw a thick white sperm. So Muhammad, he need to explain to his wife how a sperm look like. Any Muslim can explain to me? Why I need to say to my wife how a sperm look like? Look like she never saw it before. And then he continues saying, and the water of the woman is thin and yellow. Look like this woman, she never have yellow water too. Which of them comes first? What? The one come first. The baby will resemble the parents, which means the baby will be a boy or a girl. If I ever get married, I will never have orgasm first. I don't want my baby to be look like me. That's disgusting. Now I know how I can solve the problem. I will marry a woman and I will do my best to let her come first. And this way we will guarantee that the child will look like his mother and will be a beautiful girl like the mother. Is that science Muslims? How a prophet of God, where, where Muhammad is getting this from? That the one who come first will resemble the father. Hello? What happened to this guy, Muhammad Hijab? He texted me and he did not want to talk. Why you text me then? You receive an advice saying to you, don't do it. Uh, I worship an incarnation of shaitan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The guy who said to me, I worship incarnation of shaitan who died. His name is the prince of Teros, claiming himself God, but he died. You see, my friend, I worship who I want to worship, but obviously you are the one who have a pain. In somewhere I'm not going to name. Why are you are upset? I worship the guy which I like to worship. What's your problem? What's your problem? Hmm? What about you call me so we can love together? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Maybe, maybe. Do you agree really with your prophet? Do you agree with Muhammad Hijab explaining the verses we mentioned in the beginning of this video? Do you agree with the humiliation this man is bringing to your prophet? Adding insult to injury? Saying that Allah and his prophet, both of them, they pray? Both of them, they are equal? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim? I don't know who is he. I don't care. Prepare to get busted. Hijab is going to turn your career. Abdul, just see the video I posted for him yesterday. 
Abdul, your Abdul Hijab and uh, Ali Dawa, his girlfriend, they said they will not debate me already. I challenged them to debate. I gave them 10 days to choose the date, and they said they, they will not debate me because they have a standard, brother. L look what this guy is saying. Prepare to get busted. Hijab is going to run your career. <coughs> My friend, the one who have no career, he cannot run somebody else's career. Your prophet has been destroyed by hijab. He is the best thing happened for the season. I'm happy for the coming Christmas. You Muslims, you think that this guy, he defended Islam. He did bust Islam. Watch the video, which is in the link down in, in, the, in the info of this video. And laugh, die laughing at him. Comparing the prayer of Muhammad to the prayer of Allah. Saying both of them, they pray. And supposedly by that, he is getting David Wood busted again. And this is telling you that he is really under a lot of a pressure for the Muslims. Muslims are calling him and saying to him, how you say that? How you say Allah, he pray for, not pray to? You lost the debate. The whole debate is about what? It's about Tawheed versus the Trinity. The second you agree that Allah, he pray, it means Allah cannot be God. You Muslims, you say that the Christians you know Jesus he prayed to the to, he pray so how we can be God well we are, we are Christian we believe in the Trinity the Messiah speak to the father but Allah he speak to who to his father any Abdul uh, grace I don't have time for stupid kids let your dad come here if you believe in incarnation, incarnation, you have to believe in Krishna just to show you how stupid you are. I don't know what is your religion is, but I'm assuming that you are Abdul. The God of Islam, he will change his shape. The God of Islam, he sent his spirit appear as a perfect man. The God of Islam, he sent the word of Jesus became a man. The God of Islam all his religion is about incarnation, and you you stupid, you think we are the one who is following. Krishna? This is how stupid you are. Any Abdul? No, it's not about a career. You see, let us say career. Who cares? I mean, I don't the, the word career means nothing for me. Uh you see, your knowledge prove who you are. Have you ever seen a Muslim he dare to have his Skype open for anyone to call him anytime? They don't dare to do that. Do you know why? Because they have no knowledge. They, even when they have a program in the TV, I call it the, the Dean Show. They will never let me get in. I have it recorded in YouTube. They have a preset questions. You see, even the questions you see in the debate, they ask the Muslims to ask them certain questions. It's not a question like the, the, the crowd they choose. No, they have a questions they wrote to themselves. You ask me this question when the debate is over. Here we go. I am here. Call me. I am not prepared. What they do, they ask you to prepare for a debate two months in advance. And they go and then they print from articles, collecting from here and there, copy paste, and then they memorize it. They go in the stage, they recite it, and bingo. We have a debate. That is not a debate. A real debater is someone you surprise him with the question, not in the moment, in the spot, not something you tell him. I mean, what kind of exam? Imagine you want to go to exam, and the teacher he give you all the questions five weeks before the exam what do you think can we call that an exam this is what they do in those debates brother when a debate about the tawhid and versus the trinity i mean aren't you sick with this debate how many times we need to repeat this is over and over and over shabir ali debated david wood about tawhid and now the, the david wood he want to do another mistake he want to debate a kid his name is aqil this guy don't even have high school you see, David Wood is hurting himself. He's going down to the level of the kids. I debate those people because I am not really debating them. I have like, like let us say, it's a chat program. Just come and call me. I take anyone. But you, when you make it official, you are lowering yourself.
Why you want to do that? Why you do, why you debate a kid like this? We don't debate them. We take them. We take them. Just call me. I don't. I cannot call anyone I spoke to until now is a debate. You see, I have a. Uh, uh, before let us say if we want to call it debate we have the head of the islamic center of the shia in america hisham al husseini i cannot call even that one as a debate because there's no debate in the debate the owner of the tv before we start the debate he starts saying to me please please the christian prince please be nice to him please Please don't don't uh, don't be tough on him. Please, we want him to come back. So why you are inviting me to debate? The same they did with me when I debated with this guy Adib, the one who uh, from the Masjid of uh, of Arizona, the one who uh, the, the the one who made the miracle of nineteen, the lie, and the Muslims killed him in Arizona. They asked me the same. Please, please be nice to him. Don't be tough. Uh, don't be harsh. You know, be kind. Like, so why you are inviting me? That's why I stopped going there. I told them don't ever email me or call me to debate anyone. You bring me to debate the guy and you don't want me to beat him. So why I'm there? What the point? They are just trying to promote their TV station. They want to bring Muslims and they start bringing garbage. You know, I mean, whoever wanted to come to the TV, they put him there. Even this guy, Aqil, who do not know how to read his name, his, his prophet name correctly. You want to bring people to your TV, bring people who have authority, people who have knowledge, people who have degrees, people who have uh, education, not kids. Uh, we cannot talk about fart because fart is involved heavily in Islam. Somebody is talking about fart. If you want to talk about fart, just go and type the word fart in the research engine of hadith or sunnah.com you will find there's thousands of stories about farting you see it all right we will open time for christians to call as long there is no muslims to call we will give you guys the coming the coming 20 minutes for christians to call us All right. Have you ever heard of a religion that Allah will not accept your prayer if you fart? What is the connection? Not only that, Muhammad he claimed that each time the Muslims they pray, Shaitan he do fart too. Muhammad, he claimed that shaitan, when you pray, he come from your back and he take hair from your anus. And I challenge any Muslim to say to me, I'm lying. Hello? Hello, how are you doing, bro? Hey, my friend, how are you? How are you? Sorry, I don't want to take your time because I know you're... No problem. We are just trying to get Abdul to call us. That's all, you know. Otherwise, I like to hear all the Christians. But, but I've had so many of them uh, comment on my com uh, my channel, and some of them they're like, "Yes, I'll debate you." So I've been sending them the live link, and I've told them, you know, come live now, and if you want to debate. Uh, but of course, as you know, uh, people are well. When I say people, the Muslims, they tend to be keyboard terrorists, and they just scared, you know. Uh, they don't want to uh, to debate you. Um, I mean, one of the things I wanted to say is that um, I don't think there is any channel in YouTube that has, uh, I mean, when it comes to topics like this, you know, when you're challenging somebody's knowledge that has a Skype that you can call any time and anybody can call in. And I mean, you've been, you've been on YouTube for, well, not necessarily YouTube. I mean, you've been, um, you posted thousands and thousands of videos for years and how comes no Muslim is able to find one error that you said and to call you, you know, and no, say, they, hold no, on a minute. No, they found, they found. There's a guy, his name is Aqil. He said, the Christian prince do not know that <laughs> the difference between Fatr and Eid al-Adha. 
And when he called me the kid, the kid, when I called him, I asked him, "Want to talk about it?" He didn't dare. He said, "No." <laughs> he, he made a video saying, "Christian friends do not know the difference between this and that." But when can he I, called can I say me, something? I yeah. actually, I actually felt sorry when you spanked him. You, you, you absolutely destroyed him, and I kind of felt sorry after that. To be honest, um, there is you know, no, there is was... no honor in destroying kids, my friend. Those I know, are kids. I know. But I know, you see, we take actually... everybody. We take everybody because uh, for us, everybody is important. We try to save them. It doesn't matter who. Now, here we go. Our Skype is open. Giving a chance to anyone. Do do with this guy. Uh, the, those Abdul. Do they dare to have uh, their Skype open? Anyone can call. I will call. And, and honestly, I, and I don't mean just just anybody else. Even all are probably Christian channels or even a even thing. They don't have a Skype where you can just call in and and, and be able to challenge there. And and to be honest, I think no Muslim will have their Skype open because they know one thing. They all know that you're gonna call them in. If there was a Muslim channel to call right now, they know that you will call them in. So, um, obviously, probably you are to blame uh, for this. Because maybe there may have been some that would have opened the Skype, but then they know who's gonna call them. Christian Prince will call them straight away. So they know they're not gonna be exposed. And and even Hijab is not gonna get away with it because at Speaker's Corner he will be challenged to debate you. You know, I've already spoken to people and they're going to ask him. But last time he went there, he's uh, he obviously was hiding. You know how he is. He's just hiding around. So people are going to still ask him. You know, he's he keeps saying to David, oh, you let me teach you Arabic. OK, coward. Why don't you come and speak to somebody who speaks Arabic? You know, why don't you come and do that? Why do you have to, you know, and, and then what he will do is he will ask, why does he ask somebody who doesn't speak Arabic to debate him? And then he tries to say, oh, but you don't speak Arabic. But you already knew he doesn't speak Arabic. And not only that, uh, 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 the, the David, the one who don't speak Arabic, he did not do the mistake of the one who speak Arabic. That's funny. Exactly. Because exactly. David, he said that Allah, how Allah, he pray for the prophet. And then supposedly uh, uh, hijab, when I corrected him, the guy who don't speak Arabic, he said to him, this is why the translator said, pray for, not praying to. I mean, I know this is coming. I know. Let me give you a free Arabic lesson. <laughs> and the Muslims were clapping, you know, straight did you, away. Did you see the but, new video I made? I've, 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 I've seen the... Um... Not, I don't think the very. No, this last is just one. I made uh, before I uh, before I start broadcasting. Today. No, I I oh, saw click, you post. Click at the info. Click at the info down there, and it. you will see it. And, and and you will see he made a new video because now he under the uh, uh, he you know heat wave is coming to him from the Muslims, asking him how how stupid are you to do this? How you say that? So now he's trying to defend himself. You see, he thought he yeah. made victory in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. He actually was uh, reading. You know, when you go to uh, comments. Yeah. On uh, one of those uh, Muslim videos, the Muslim guys, uh, Muslim Dawa, who kind of promotes him and all of that. And I was reading the comments, you know, pretty much all the comments. You read because you can you can select the top comments and you can select the new comments. All the all the comments were basically having a go. How how did he say that Allah prays for the Prophet? But what happens is they delete the comments. Every Muslim channel, they will literally delete all your comments. They have a, I think they monitor them 24 7. You know, on my channel, I, I don't even, I'm not bothered to delete and who to do stuff. You know, sometimes the only people I delete the ones who copy paste large text, because I can see them, they, they paste in, in all my videos, you know, every comment. They're doing about 20 of them, 30 in a row. So those are the guys that spam. Those are the ones I may get rid of, but not because somebody says something. That supposedly refutes Christianity or all of this, and what they do is, if you read the, their 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 top comments, you, what you'll have is all Muslim. You would think that there's no Christian there, but when you read the latest comments, is only all people. Doesn't matter if even Muslims sometimes they they they're actually criticizing him for that, but they they will delete their comments or hide their comments. Uh, I just wanted to say also, um, you know, I want to say well done to people because they've been posting videos, so. Uh, I would ask people not to be this this in um, disencouraged. You know, it doesn't matter if you have five subscribers or even ten subscribers. You should still post videos. You know, even if you have five views, as long as it's somebody who never heard this stuff or read this stuff, you will uh, give somebody some knowledge. So it doesn't matter if it's one person or hundred people. You should still post the stuff. So well done to. The people who've been posting, I've seen there's been loads of people uh, they've been posting, and I asked them that they, as the Bible says, do not be disencouraged. So they should.
post videos, make videos, cut and paste and post them. So well done to anybody who's been doing that, you know. So, um, you know, don't be disencouraged, just post them. And basically, that's what it is. It's an um, information war. Um, that's what it is. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, one quick thing. He said about basically Quran not, not being a witness. But um, in the end of the day, if, if they believe that the word of uh, Quran is the word of Allah, and then it is actually the word that is going to be a witness to them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't make sense. So that word is going to be a witness to you. You know, we know that the word of God is going to be a witness to us. You know, you saw the you saw the video I made about this uh, issue that about the Quran will come as a man. You know, yeah, you okay. did, you did. Yeah. and you explained. Anyway, he's lying. Yeah. Obviously, you see, he said that this is a recitation. It's not. It's not the Quran will will intercede he doesn't, for he doesn't you. Show any proof, CP. Yeah. You know, he yeah. doesn't show any but proof. This is and not. By the way, but this is not his fault. I cannot blame him. You see, uh, uh, David, he have a problem. He did not stand for what he just said. You know, when you are in a debate, the Abdul in front of you, he get you a perfect time to grab him from his tail. You know, David would actually, he he, uh, uh, he quoted very good reference, and he can use what uh, uh, Hijab said and grab him from his tail and hang him in the laundry robe, and everybody will be laugh at the monkey. Muhammad Hijab. Yeah, but I think but, should, I think David should have gone deeper into that topic. No, no, it's not going deep. Not only going deeper, he should he should go after him after he answer. You see? You yeah, know? this is what I mean. This yeah. is what I mean. Go yeah. deeper. The not, guy, the guy he, he made an answer like everything. What uh, David he said, uh, Hijab he got away with it by saying two words like, okay, uh, they, uh, uh, David he said Allah has parts. What, how would the uh, Hijab answer? Which is scholars? And that's it. Well, the, first, the first thing I would have asked him if mm -hmm. Allah doesn't have a shape. If he's not physical, is he then spirit? You know, is Allah a spirit or is he physical? And I'm sure Muhammad Hijab would have been stuck by that because he wouldn't know how, what to answer. You understand? Is this and, guy? And one question I would one question I would ask for the Muslims is, what is spirit? You know, spirit is mentioned specifically in Quran about Jesus, Jesus being a spirit of Allah. What is spirit? Because as far as I know. That Allah says to Muhammad, you don't know what spirit is, right? So if Muhammad doesn't know what spirit is, then the Muslims don't know what spirit is. So how can they give an explanation? Does that do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, you see, right. every every debate, you should go with the mood and you should go with what, what the person said. The problem is most of people who they claim to be debaters, they have an article written in their computer a month ago. They go in the table, they read it for us. And then they sit down, you know, and then they don't focus on what the person is saying because this is what the most important now is what he's just going to say, not the article you wrote for yourself a month ago. And this is the weakness of this debate. Hijab is a kid, and I'm not going to question him why he's being a kid. He's just a stupid kid. And he gave a great opportunity to David Wood to destroy Islam. We don't care about Hijab himself. But mm -hmm. but hijab himself, he was a great opportunity for David Wood to expose Islam wide open. But David, he relaxed. He sat at the table as nothing happening. He heard nothing, you know. And yeah, but, I, however, mean, I mean, when I when I heard him, when I heard uh, him say that, oh, um, Allah Allah said in the Quran, be and he was, you know, uh, and you know, um, basically said to Jesus and he was, and he said to Adam and he was, you know, this 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 actual verse in the, in the Quran. Actually, it makes Quran a big joke because it, uh, it didn't say to Jesus be and he was because he actually yeah. blew the spirit into yeah, but him. But why? Why David did not say that to him? This, this is what I mean. This is See? what I mean. So yeah. it, it was the very. Guy, he said something that, very that stupid. stupid. You should stand to him. Says, show me where Allah He created Jesus by saying be, and where He created Adam by saying be. This is a contradiction. Yeah, this is a contradiction. Thank you very much. You just to prove Islam to be false. So yeah, this is how the debate it. is. The debate is that you have to be strong. And you have to be consistent and you have to chase for answer you don't relax you know yeah, like you yeah. know when a Muslim he called me I will not let him go I will shout I will scream I will force him to answer I don't let it go if he says something it doesn't matter what the word he just said I say did you say that did you say that you know so this is what a debater should do he yeah, should be they consistent. try and get away with it you know right, you should try be, and no you cannot let him get away otherwise there is no debate yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, I, 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 I exactly agree with you. And you know one thing, you know when that guy asked him to debate you, 
uh, when he said, oh, Christian, uh, do you want to debate the guy, new tube Christian Prince? And he was like, yes, I'll destroy him or something like that. I'll finish him. As soon as, as soon as the guy mentioned your name, I don't know if you noticed on the video, a lot, because I think all those guys there were actually Muslims. Mm. As soon as the guy mentioned your name, a lot of other people said, yeah, yeah, because they really want to destroy you. Yeah. Obviously, they're, they're looking for a savior, essentially. You know, mm. this guy on YouTube is destroying Islam. Why doesn't somebody come? And, you know, you, you can hear that as soon as that guy asked that question and mentioned your name, the other people were like, yeah, you know, go on. Can, can you do it? Sort of thing. But obviously, he said he has to come to me. Where is he? Where is he lying? Where I, is I, I, I come to him. What? I, 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 I went to his YouTube. I posted. I said, I challenge you. I made a video. Says, give, I give you 10 days to, to, to choose the topic, the day. I mean, the, the, the day, the time. And I'm here. The guy, he said to him in YouTube, right? He didn't see it in YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he mentioned that this guy he do it in YouTube and he said, Yes, I will finish him. But he said, you know, he is he is he knew he's no match. So he said he have to come to me. What come to me? Who are you? What do you mean come to me? Bro, they all <laughs> they all know you. I, I've been I've been to speaker's corner and I had people say, Oh, are you Christian Prince? You sound like Christian Prince, you know? So obviously these people they know you. They there is pretend. a guy, there's a guy he sent me a video. I, I don't know what to find it. You can search for it. I, I'm sure you can find it. A, a guy he asked uh, this guy. Yeah, he went and you asked. Adnan, he asked Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, he asked they, all of them. They asked him to like, debate oh. Christian Prince. He, he right away he turned his face. Right away he changed. You know, he changed the topic. He, he left. He left right away immediately. You know. He needs to show his face. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he he left. No, he left. He left. They asked him, "Do you oh, want to debate left. Christian oh, Prince?" Yeah, he left. Like, you know? oh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. he's just a kid. But all anyway, right. for me, I challenged him not because I I want really uh, to debate him. I don't care who. He's just a kid for me. Of he's not my standard, but I wanted to show the Muslims and the Christian that this guy is nothing, nothing. But a scam. Otherwise, he's, he's, otherwise he would go. Yesterday we have a Muslim. He left Islam. How many Muslims left Islam watching my videos? Isn't it important for you, Muhammad Hijab, to save Muslims from leaving Islam because of me? I'm very successful. So if you say that you will not debate me, that means you are you don't care for Muslims leaving Islam. Shouldn't you come and smash Christian Prince, the one who is making a lot of Muslims leave Islam? Yeah, but if they smash you, who is who is left? You know, yeah, they, but, they but basically. But, if, but, if, but if they, they smash but, you, but, then that would be it. But the, but the, that will bring victory for them. So why they don't want to do it? And he, and yeah. if he, if he is sure he's going to do it, he's going to win. I mean, what is what is stopping you? What is what you will get? What you will lose? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know you're gonna destroy them. Uh, all I say, keep it up, good work. And I'll say to all the guys who've been, because I've seen there's a lot of people who've been posting. So I would say keep up the good work, you know, uh, post the videos, post into, into the channel. Some of them, they're doing a very good job. So I'll say keep it up because I think I've seen that a huge increase recently of videos being posted. And 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 we we will still be asking him at Speaker's Corner to come and debate. You know, he's not going to get away that easy. You know, I know he's going to try and hide and he's going to try and say, he can come to me. Yeah, blah, just blah, blah, just blah. Uh, just make it embarrassing. Um, embar I, I know it doesn't matter how much you force him; he will never do it. But just I know, I know. just yeah. just make it like as a as a as kind of harassment. <laughs> like why are you running from Christian Prince? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ruin, ruin his day. <laughs> ruin his day. All right, yeah. bro. God bless you, man. God bless you. Nice. Take care, my friend. Take you. Uh, there is somebody he's saying uh, David Wood got destroyed. My friend David Wood is the one who destroyed the guy. But the, but because they are people of mockery, they are trying to make it as David Wood is the one. I agree, David Wood he did not do a good job. He should, as I said, get him busted immediately. But the debate was 100% a win for David Wood. Because the answers of this guy, the idiot Muhammad Hijab, is a priceless. You see, I will, I already I have what five videos about Muhammad Hijab. All of them they are priceless. Go and watch them. You will die laughing. And I challenge anyone to make a video making laugh or a joke about what David would say. In the same debate, your hijab he agreed that Allah he pray. He said Allah he pray for, he don't pray to. In the debate, your hijab he said that the word Elijah mean God is with us. <laughs> It's, it's calling, it's calling, uh, <laughs> it's calling David Wood supposedly. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. I'm uh, calling you all the way from Australia. I uh, I messaged you before a while ago, and I just wanted to say I love your work. I'm a fellow Christian like yourself. 
I'm an Egyptian Coptic, and I just want to say, uh, God bless you, and may He protect you from all the evil around you. Thank you. Because I know, I know exactly what you're going through. Because I've been uh, challenged in the last eight years as well uh, throughout my career by fellow Muslims, and the best I've ever gotten from them is. My Bible is corrupted, and I say, great, tell me when and where it was corrupted. And the best answer I get is the Council of Nicaea. Mm. Um, and I said, well, can you explain to me what happened in the Council of Nicaea? They have nothing. Mm. And when I tell them, well, can I prove to you that Jesus is your Lord and Savior from your own Quran? And they say, well, if you don't believe in the Quran, why are you referring to it? I said, because I know you will not listen to me if I read you from my Bible, because since you claim it to be corrupted, why am I going to use my own Bible? I can prove it from your own book. But then they can never understand when I tell them Jesus, who is the Word of God, Kalimat Allah, and I say he is Ruh Allah, and they said to me, oh, spirit can be translated into angel. And I said, no, it's not. And I said, uh, you can't explain to me Arabic. And the Muslims that I speak to are not Arab Muslims who don't know Arabic as a first language. And when they say to me, uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I said, do you understand what you're saying? And they said, yeah, yeah. Peace and blessings be to the Prophet. And I said, but hang on, slow it down. Let's break it up word by word. I said, Salah means prayed. I said, who prayed? What's the next word that you say? Allah. I go, what happened in the translation? Where did Allah go in the translation? And I said, so we say, Salah, Allah, God prayed, Allah prayed. I'm like, to who? Who's he praying to? I'm like, aren't we the ones that are supposed to be praying to God if he is the almighty, the majestic? And they never say, oh, that's because your heart is black and it's corrupted and... I said, oh, Jesus Christ, you guys need help. Now, my friend, I, 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 will, I will answer you about that. There is no need to, to go in this argument with the Muslims. When a Muslim, he says the Bible is corrupt, ask him, you are talking about the Bible of Allah. And in a second, you will see that his face will turn yellow and blue and orange. Because how stupid it is to believe that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and he is the one who sent the Torah. And then you are saying to me that Allah send books but his books is corrupt so what's my problem you know what i mean why you want to tell him why tell him but no you should not you should you should, you should not defend you should not say oh it's not corrupt say to him yes your god allah is corrupt your book is corrupt that's stupid your god allah can yeah. protect his book so why, why why you are attacking me why you are blaming me this is your god book it's corrupt so what's my problem yeah, you're right. I, you didn't, I, mean? I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, use their logic. You know, it's a stupid because remember, the Muslim believe that the Injil was sent by Allah and the Torah was sent by Allah. So if they believe that the Torah and the Injil is corrupt and this is the book of Allah, so what's my problem? But when I tell them I refer to the verses in the uh, Quran saying, Mabayna uh, Yidayhi and affirms our books, and I said, well, then uh, they tell me, oh, but then you guys corrupted it and they. Uh, I know they always refer to the uh, Old Testament in the Torah uh, where they say the uh, the people of the scripture, they're the ones that were changing the words. I said, that's great, but where? Where was the change? Please tell me where. And they say, yeah, yeah, but I believe in the original Injil. You and see, I said, well, where is the original? Uh, uh, you see, my friend, the Muslims, they don't even have the Quran of Muhammad. Even the Quran, I know that. They don't have even the Quran of Uthman. They don't even have yes. the Quran of Hafs. Hafs, he came 200 years after Muhammad. They have the recitation called the recitation of Hafs, but they don't have a book. It's called the book of Hafs. And yet, yes. and yet they have no problem. The Muslim, they don't have manuscript of the Quran. They have nothing. They have zero. And then they say mm -hmm. to us, the Quran is preserved. And then we go, we go and we find that Umar al-Khattab, he said, that the Quran used to be a thousand, thousand and twenty-five thousand letter, which means a million and twenty-five thousand letter. And what is left yep. today is less than 260, 270,000 letter, which means more than 85% of the Quran is gone. Uh, 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 the Muslims, they say in their books that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah, which means the cow. And this is the biggest chapter in the Quran, which means there's more than 100 verses in, the, in, in that chapter is gone. 
So yeah. when the Muslim they speak about preservation of a book, that is a joke. Even the hadith says that the prophet, when the prophet was, was die, a goat came and ate the Quran. Now, yeah. was that great? <laughs> was that goat? Was that goat sent by Allah, or this is a goat sent by the Jews? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one. The one about the uh, ayah of the breastfeeding or something. Yeah, breastfeeding and and, the, and, the, um, and stoning to death. So yeah, yeah, when they under say, Aisha's uh, pillow or mattress or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Yeah. It says when the when uh, 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 let us see. Aisha, she said. Here, read with me carefully, guys. The verse of stoning to death and breastfeeding adult, adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tam sheep came and ate it. Yeah. Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? Can tell us where we can find the tam sheep. May they, may they. A sheep is winted. It's a black. It's dark. It have four legs. We are looking <laughs> everywhere. If you have a dog, if you have any way to find the sheep which ate the Quran, this sheep is very dangerous, especially for religious books. She have a special uh, appetite to the words of Allah, and she is the one was able to flip Muhammad over his bed when he was dead. How Muhammad was dead on the bed, and the book was under the pillow. And yet the goat was able to eat the book. In order to do that, she had to flip Muhammad from the bed. Yeah. Muhammad I is sleeping agree. in the bed. He is dead. How the goat was able to move Muhammad? I want to make a cartoon about this one. Um, another, another point I wanted to bring up in the debate between David Wood and uh, the Joker Hijab um i can't remember exactly where he was saying who gave something in in christianity the authority regarding a verse or a book i can't remember exactly what he said but the first thing that hit me in my head when i when he said that comment if i was standing on the stage and i would have then said well then i can ask the same question back to you who gave osman the authority to only pick one recitation from the seven that was approved by muhammad because when he said the angel told me it's seven different dialects or ways. Well, then who gave Osman the authority to only pick one and burn the rest? Not only that, not only that, you see, uh, Muhammad, he said in the hadith, when he spoke to the angel, he said to him, uh, when he keep asking for a new recitation, he said to him, my people cannot take it. My people are not capable of preserving the Quran yes. or, uh, or understanding the Quran unless you send me more recitations. So it is about its necessity is not a choice. It's a must. I have I have a Muslim calling, my friend. Uh, oh, uh, forgive me, no please. Worries. Take him. All right. God bless you and take care, Christian Prince. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes, sir. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Muslim? I don't know what you've been talking about. I well, guess what I'm talking here. I have a hadith in front of me. As long you know, you you just call. I'm, I, first, let me welcome you, my friend. In in your life on air, people they can hear you. I have a hadith here, which is Sahih. It says, "The verse of stoning and adult and the breastfeeding for an adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a time sheep came and ate it." This is Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, speaking about how the Quran is missing verses. What do you say? First of all, um, my name is Sheikh. Uh, I live in the United States and uh, I'm from Africa. Okay. What I would like to say is, clarify something is, I do not believe in some hadiths. I do not believe in that hadith because it contradicts the Quran. You believe in what? Everything that contradicts the Quran. Okay, how, how does hadith contradict the Quran? Yeah. How does hadith contradict the Quran, my friend? Because Allah said hmm. in the Quran yeah. that who, can, you, can, you, can you let me talk? I'm talking. I, I've been hearing cutting off people. I start saying something, you start cutting me off. I, you ask me a question, I'm answering. I'm not talking, Abdul. Give respect. I'm not talking, Abdul. I'm listening. What's wrong with you? And why are you okay. screaming? Can we do that? I'm not your wife to scream at me. Don't do that. Hello, Abdul. 
Be respectful, speak as a man, not a kid. Now go ahead. Where is the contradiction? Mm -hmm. Where is the contradiction with this hadith in the Quran? Show me. Don't don't go play games. Where is the contradiction? Okay. Go ahead. Where is the contradiction? Go ahead. Yes. And let me talk. You ask me a question. Let me talk. Who's holding you, question. Abdul? Stop. Shut up. Stop. Get lost. Don't call me again. I'm just saying. You ask me. Don't that. call me again yeah. unless and you want to speak talk. as a man. Yes, Get know. lost. Obviously, you are trying to escape. This is why you are screaming. I did not scream at you. I did not even disturb you. What a liar. I feel sorry for your wife. What do you do with your family inside the house? Do you beat them every day? Stupid idiot, we are talking. Where is the contradiction between this hadith and the Quran? If you have an answer, call me. Hello? Yes, are you... Uh are you afraid? Why are you cutting me off? Answer. What is the contradiction between this hadith and the Quran? Go ahead. Okay. The Quran said in the crystal clear in the Quran that al Zaniyat wa Zani, whoever fornicates, a man or a woman, hmm. got hundred, got me at a jal, a hundred lashes. Is that Arabic you are reading now? So I'm just telling you a verse of the Quran. Hey, my friend, but is that an Arabic? I heard you saying something. Is that Arabic? That was Arabic. Azaniyatu was Zani. Where we can you, find you this? Know? Where we can find this verse in the Quran? Oh, I thought you said you know the Quran. Sure, so, I know the Quran. So, this so is so chapter you... twenty-four, verse number two. I know the Quran more than you, but I'm saying to you, where we can find this verse in the Quran? Do you know? Does it matter? Well, how come I, mean, I know how I can, so, how come I know the number you do not know the number I, I told you the number already but look like you are slow chapter 24 verse number three two now I'm asking you where we can find this verse in the Quran where we Listen can me. where we can find this verse in the Quran Godness. can you since you know the Quran can you tell people that I'm lying that this verse isn't in the Quran it is in the Quran, in the Quran. I'm asking you where it is in the Quran I, I, I said it is in the Quran but where it is in the Quran you do not know. Relevant. You do not know. Relevant. You do not know, right? Okay, you do not know. Chapter twenty-four, verse number two. Okay, now, now, what does this have to do with this hadith? Azaniya was zani, which you do not know how to read. Okay, this hadith you said is talking about stoning, right? You said stoning. Yes. Somebody who fornicates, no? Yes. I said you cannot stone because Allah said we give him hundred lashes. No, the verse, so the verse you are quoting for me is about adultery for people who they are single, not married. Oh my God! Does it say single or married? It doesn't say that. You but this, but now? okay. Do you, do, you want, do, you, do you want to challenge me, Abdul? Do you want to? Do you want to make? Do you want to make a? Do you want to make? Do you want to make a challenge, Abdul? Do you want to make a challenge? A challenge in front of everybody. That this is what it's meant. Do, do you want to? Do you want to challenge? Say yes. Be a man. Be a man. I, I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge you and the Bible and on the Bible. Don't change the topic. The Don't change the topic, Abdul. Do you want to challenge me that this is what the verse means? It's about single people, not married people. Yes or no? You never said no single or thing. He said Azani, it was Zani. Abdul, say why you, okay? What, so how we will understand the verse meaning now? Shouldn't we go to the interpretation? Yes or no? In, oh, okay. So, 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 if I say any man or any woman that 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 uh, that 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 went to school, now you say that oh, somehow you're talking about a young man or 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 married man. Abdul, don't waste so, my time. I'm not the one who's saying that. This is about this is you Muslims who say that you are a liar. Do you want me to get you busted? Yes or no? You can't get me busted. Allah said somewhere else. Asari got Asari who. Abdul, and, uh, don't try to speak Arabic. You do, you do not know Arabic. Now I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Where, which, which interpretation like me to read for you? I am. I, I need an interpretation. Which I don't one? need interpretation. I need to the Quran. Right, you don't even know how to read Arabic. Okay, how you can inter give interpretation for the verse if you do not know how to read Arabic? Read the verse for me. Read, read the read 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 the verse for me. Read the verse for me. Read, guys. Allah said in the Quran. Shut up. Shut up. Go. Send me your dad. I don't have time for kids. Guys, read with me. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. 
the adulterer and the adulteress who are unmarried and have not been married before scourge them do you see it this is a verse about people who they are not unmarried if you are a donkey this is not my problem let us take another abdul hello hello yes my friend go ahead can you hear me yeah did you hear what we just said hello yes i hear you my friend go ahead you hear me i do yeah because uh, i'm watching your youtube video so i should turn off my youtube uh, yeah better you know just stay with us so no, no, because uh, of the, hassan because did, you, did you hear what this guy he said about chapter 24 verse number two that's surah tauba chapter 24 and nur <clears throat> And no, yeah, yeah. yeah, talking about the is the that about married people or this is about single people? What do you think? What's the eye? I just the, told you, the, chapter 24, verse number two. What's he saying? Is that about What's people who are married? And is that about saying, married? Is that about married adulterers or about uh, single people? Unmarried, single. Unmarried, see. So why that yeah. that Abdul before you he was saying this is not about married people, um, unmarried people. Why Muslims lie? What do you think? What the reason? Hmm. Because it's saying it's 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 not stating actually from the Arabic. Yeah, but you know but more, we, more but, but, but at the end of the day, you hmm. Muslims you believe that this is about single people, correct? For the lesser, for the lesser punishment is the ones who are not married yet. Yes. Okay. So why this guy who, who called me a second ago, he was lying, saying this is not uh, about married people. Maybe he doesn't understand the language. No, no. Arabic. He was That's claiming. What? He was claiming, screaming at me and saying this is this is not about. It doesn't say married. And he claimed that this is about married. I told him. I told him this is about single people. He said no. So he was lying. Now let us let me ask you. As long so this is the verse, problem now? Hassan, my friend. As long as yes. you agree with me that this is about unmarried people, what is the punishment for adultery in the Quran for married people? It's killing, I think. Where? What verse? Uh, I can't remember. It's in there's the, no the verse. same. No, there's it's no. In the same chapter. No, no. It's in the same chapter. Surah no, Nur, no there's no verse in the Quran about married people for adultery. The verse about mm -hmm. adultery in the Quran is gone. The goat ate it. The one it says is stoning to death. Stoning to death is a punishment for those who are married. Do you agree? Correct? Which one? Which one? Stoning to death punishment is a punishment mm. for married people. Do you agree? Mm, yes. It's okay. the married one. Wonderful. So where, where we can find the stoning to death punishment in the Quran? For unmarried or married one? Sorry? For which one for, for the unmarried i'm saying no the unmarried is in front of us this is unmarried chapter 24 verse number two all right so this is for the unmarried and both of us we agree and this is tafsir ibn abbas the cousin of your prophet in the front of our eyes and it says clearly this is for unmarried people now where is the punishment for stoning which is stoning to death in the quran for those who are married because according to, the, to, to islam if you are a married person and you do adultery for an occasion uh, uh, you will be stoned to death where is the punishment where we can find it I'm not sure. I have to do more research on that. No, I am sure. Here we go. The hadith says where well, it's gone. The goat ate it, my friend. What's your reference for that? Okay, here we go. We go to the reference, my friend. No problem. Give me the reference for that. You cannot make up things. No, we cannot. Sure, no, cannot. You see, that's why I use my screen and nobody can say I'm making things. No, no, up. just give me the reference, the one that said it. You can you can click at the uh, like uh, I don't know if you see, can you see YouTube. We can see the. Yeah, yeah I can see your YouTube. All right, yeah, now you're in Sunnah.com. This is Sunan Ibn Majah. All right, and this what is the is? hadith. And the hadith okay. is accurate, is authentic. Hadith number, uh, book, uh, variant number three, book number nine, hadith number 1944. It says, the verse of stoning to death, stoning and breastfeeding of a, an adult 10 times was revealed. So those are verses revealed, but yet we cannot find them. And the paper was with me under my pillow when the Messenger of Allah died. We were preoccupied with his death, and a time sheep came and ate it. Do you see it? Yeah, the paper was hit under my pillow, and then 
a term sheet came and ate it. And then what's the con conclusion for that hadith? The and then the, this, this addition to that, it says, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not a ruling. How is going to be abrogated? Yes, they are talking about later. Uh, that there is sure. there's a the go, ten, go, the go ten, down go down below the, the, the ten the ten okay I'm, I'm down don't you see it all of that I want the verification if it's Hassan yeah go down yeah go down which go means down. it's authentic no no go down you, you didn't show me that one huh? where's the authentication of the hadith man it says Hassan Hassan don't you see it says Hassan do you know what Hassan mean Hassan uh, who, it's a who, it's a rank it's a rank, a rank of authentic hadith it's, it's authentic below the, no, it's, it's authentic. No, no, it's authentic. It's authentic. It's Hassan. Hassan mean what Hassan mean in Arabic? Can you tell me? Hassan means is 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 authentic. In you can say authentic if I'm it's, not wrong. It means fine. It's fine. Fine, but it does not reach the ultimate authentication. Well, you know, there's ranks. Even the da'if, by the way, it's fine. You don't because know science of hadith. My friend, my friend, my friend. Even the da'if, you can go right now and search in YouTube. Sh search for Sheikh Hamza. He made a speech about da'if hadith. And I'm quoting him word by word. He said, "There's an attack on the if hadith. The if hadith is the same as you say a, a paper got f. It did not funk. It pass. It pass. It did not funk. You can go watch him and you can see. So even the if is accepted. So what about the Hassan? So this is according and this to, according and, 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 and Sunan, my friend, and Sunan Ibn Majah, and Sunan, not according not according to me, to not me. according to me. I just name for you the, the your Sheikh who, who's saying who's that. Who, I name who, for you the Sheikh. I can show it. I to don't you trust right him. Now. I don't follow him. He's a liar. Okay, he's a liar. Now I, uh, let me ask Hamza, you. Hamza is a Sufi. He okay, let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. He's a liar. Okay. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie, please. My friend, I know him, Hamza. Hamza Yusuf is the scholar of in US. If I'm not wrong, he's what. He is the scholar in U.S. United States. I don't know where is he. Hamza is a Sufi man. He worships the graves. It doesn't matter. How all all you of you, like... you worship the grave too. Aren't you a Muslim no, no, no. Sunni? Aren't you? Aren't you a Muslim? Aren't, aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Listen, listen my point. Let me ask listen you. Let me ask I give you. you time. Stop. Come on, Prince. Be fair. Hmm. Let me get across. Hamza is a Sufi. He comes from another sect. He worships a grave. He prays to a grave. How can you trust a man who worships a dead person? Come on, man. Do you are you saying to me? Are you saying to me you don't worship a dead, dead person? You don't worship a dead person, you? I don't worship a dead person. Okay, your prophet in the hadith says that Allah curses those who build synagogue or a, a, a house of a prey over graves. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So why the house, the the grave of your prophet became a mosque now, and you are a Sunni? Oh, the 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 the, the, the grave, the mosque was there before. No, it was a grave, my friend. No, it was a grave because this is the house of Aisha. Never was a mosque. It was a house oh, okay, of Aisha. Okay. Yeah. okay. So the, this the, was the house the of Aisha. How... The ruling is different. No, my friend, uh, your prophet, he cursed those who build a synagogue or build a house pass. of worship over a grave. So you and pass. you are saying to me, you are saying to me the same. You are saying to me Sufi are bad and they are not Muslims because they do that. Well, thank you very much. But you but Muslim Sunni, you Muslim Sunni, you are not Sufi. You are not Sufi. And you I'm saying I'm not Sufi. So okay. why are you quoting okay. scholars of Now let me ask you, let me ask you, why why we don't why we don't uh, uh, why are you quoting this? My friend, my friend, my friend. Uh, what, uh, what about you show me that hadith Hassan is not accepted? Admit to your followers, you my lie, friend, Pastor. my friend. Can you show me that hadith is Hassan is not accepted? Which one? You said this hadith is Hassan, it's not good for you, right? But what's the, the end of the hadith saying the verse was abrogated? So what's your point? They are talking about abrogation by five uh, uh, verse, uh, the, 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 the five uh, five breastfeeding. But even that one we can't find in the Quran. Can you find me the verse where it says that there is five breastfeeding? There's ten breastfeeding for adult. Your your it's prophet, false, your prophet, your prophet. He thought, to... okay, let us let us go there. Let us see if this fabrication or not. Let us go. You have the chain of narration. My, my friend, hold on. Yeah, the, the chain of uh, narration. It's in the front of you. Brother, you're gonna struggle. You, you uh, have never. Understood my friend, science. you are the one who is struggling. Let me show you. You are saying that this is a lie. Let us you see if it's a lie. First of all, this is a book. First of all, first of all, this let is a. Let me get across my point. This Relax. is your book. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us show you. Let us see if this is an accurate story or not. Is Rida'atul Kabir, is Rida'atul Kabir, adult for breastfeeding, is authentic or it's false? I'm listening. Okay, continue. I, I'm I asking, I'm asking. Is Rida'atul Kabir authentic or it's false? 
the breastfeeding of who? What? Breastfeeding of who? Adult. Is it That's authentic or it's intimacy. is it sexual intimacy? What do you do in your bed? It doesn't matter, man. What okay, you so so you are saying so you don't suck. Okay. No, 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 you don't suck your, your, your wife's boobs. Come on, man. Please. Okay, so you agree. You agree. If an adult he suck a woman, That's sexual intimacy. Thank man. you very Come much. I like that. I, I like that. So read with me this hadith. Read with me this hadith, which is sahih. Thank you, my let friend. Me. I appreciate it. I heard let it. Me, let me it's a point. sexual let intimacy. But you're a prophet. He ordered women to give her boobs to a strange man. He is not her son. Read with me. Come on, man. It's, and this is Sahih us. Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. You cannot tell me now this hadith is not accurate. You can't play this game. Read with me. The women she said to him, the women she said to him, How I'm going to do breastfeeding for for him, and he is a growing man. Was was the uh, uh, is it authentic this hadith? Yes, this is Sahih Muslim. Go down, show me the 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 word who quoted this hadith and, and uh, verified it. It's in the front of you. You know, Sahih Muslim doesn't contain all the hadith are not ah, you know again. It's not Sahih. You see, on, whatever we show them, like it's not Sahih. Muslim, My friend, what the what the word Sahih Muslim mean? What the word Sahih Muslim mean? Then translate for me. What Sahih mean? Sahih is uh, authentic. Eh? Okay. So the name of the book, it's you call him. You Muslim, you call the name of the book authentic Muslim, but it's not authentic, right? Sahih Muslim is most authentic if I'm not Okay, wrong. so I'm how you know now this one is not authentic, specifically this one. Do you like do you sniff like a German shepherd? How you know how you how you were able to find out that this hadith is not authentic? Uh sorry, I don't understand the hadith. What do you mean understand how you came to the conclusion that this hadith is not authentic? Did you sniff? Yeah. You know, sometimes you know the all the hadith some some are recorded, with some 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 time you have to prove it to me I challenge you in front of everybody to prove that this hadith is false go ahead I'm listening you have After the hadith number you have the name of the book you have the reference uh, let me I, go to sunnah okay what's the what's the number of that hadith one four five three a one four one four five three a In Sahih Muslim, yeah? Yes. One four five. Yes. One five. One my four friend, five, my friend, three. what this drama is about? You search the hadith. Uh, how many time I need to repeat for you? Uh, to be honest, I cannot comment on that hadith. Let's let's move to another issue. Okay, read with me. This is this is Tafsir Surah An Nisa, variant number one, part number one thirty six. Tafsir who? Read with me carefully. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then he continues speaking about Qissatu Sahla Ma'asalim, Mawla Abi Hudayfa, Wakaul and Nabi. Ordai, call it, Wakaifa Urdiahu, Wahua Rajulun Kabir. How I'm going to do breastfeeding, but yet he is an old man. And look what they are saying here that this is reported by Sahih al Bukhari. Uh, ukhrija, ukhrija, this is the story, all of it is Ukhrija Fiam al Bukhari uh, 2 to 51. Wa Muslim 1455. Women Hadithi Aisha. Even the wife of Muhammad. She ordered her sister to do breastfeeding for anyone when I come upon her, which means her, she became like her secretary. And if you want to enter upon Aisha, you have to ask, uh, uh, you, you have to go to the sister of Aisha and you suck her boobs 
for 10 time different time not in the same day until you are satisfied and you are the one who said to me this is sexual intimacy correct well what was 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 the age of the kid they are men they are men my friend and i have to ask this i have to verify this situation man i don't trust you so for that reason i cannot comment my friend let me show you from Sorry, I cannot comment what I don't know. Let me share. Have you ever have you ever heard of Al Qurtubi? I do not know. I do not know, man. I have to ask. My That's friend I said I cannot comment. No problem. No know. problem. No You're problem. Forcing me to say this is this is Al Imam Al Qurtubi. This is Al Imam okay, Al Qurtubi. Volume number two. Hold on. Hold on. Volume number volume number seventeen. Verse number sixty-five. Here they are, they are talking about Al Imam Al Qurtubi, and Al Imam Al Qurtubi says, and this is the book in the front of your eyes. It says. ولأن عائشة رضي الله عنها كانت إذا أرادت دخول رجل عليها أمرت أختها أم أسماء أن ترضعه ليصير لها ابنا لأختها من الرضاعة. And if Aisha she want any man, no, no problem, no problem. Listen, my friend, and Aisha if she want anyone to enter upon her, a رجل, a رجل, a man, she have she order her sister to suck her boobs so he can become. A son for her from breastfeeding. You are the one who said to me, if you do suck a woman's breast, it is sexual intimacy. Do you agree That's with between that? Between wife and a man. My a friend, wife between and wife and a man. What about a wife and a stranger? A woman and a stranger. No, She's no, a stranger. He is a stranger. Oh, okay. Are you me, saying no, to me? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm not trying to insult you. Are you? Are you? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that you have no problem with somebody want to visit you? Listen. Are you saying you have no problem that a man come to your house and he suck the boobs of your wife? You are not allowing me to speak, man. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What I said when when I said sexual intimacy, I I I, I was referring to the the the, the between. A wife and a husband, not mm. not a stranger. Or a, okay, what about or stranger? What about stranger? What we would do with a stranger now? We have a stranger. A stranger, a man he wanna enter upon. Let us say you have a wife, and then your wife she she ordered her sister to give her boobs to me to suck it, and then I can go and see your wife. Is that logical for you? Is that acceptable in Islam? It's not even logic, man. Whatever well, this is what it says in front of you. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. What do you mean that I doubt it? Here we go. This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi. A general. My, my, my friend, my friend, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're Arabic. You can go check it out. No problem, my friend. Take your time. I'm not forcing you right now to. to my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I show it to you in English so you have no excuse. I show it to you in English. And I show it to you. I cannot comment on the issue. I do, I do not know okay. what you mean. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Why you call me? Let us change the topic just to give you a chance to breathe. That's why I said bring another issue. I do not comment. I, I don't want to. I don't want to bring. I, do I, I don't want to bring another issue. I want you to. First of all, my Arabic language. I want you. No problem. I no. have to. I have to ask people of knowledge. No problem. In the Quran, it says. I want to. I want. I don't want to ask you something. Listen to me, man. Listen. Let me mention my point. Hmm. In the Quran, it says that if you do not know, ask the people of knowledge. Well, the we people are. Of knowledge who, are who are they? The people of knowledge. Who are, who are they? The people they have, of knowledge. They have three characteristics. Hmm. They, they have to be a Russia's people. People who who are the imam or someone who you trust. Not a true. And also, not also true. someone who's who's proficient in the Arabic language not and, a true. and all the divine laws. That's false, my friend. The Quran says, if you want to know, ask the Christians and the Jews. So if I need now scholar, I have to go to the grave or what? My so friend, my friend, the alive. Quran, the Quran says. Thank you very much. Those who they recite the, the scriptures right. before you. Okay, we are the ones. You ask Part us. Part of your answer is right. Part so, of your answer is right that during the, 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 the Islamic history where the Quraysh lived, they were Jewish people. So they used to go to ask them the, the Bani Israel, the mm. stories, the stories that uh, happened. And mm. we take benefit from those. Mm -hmm. And the Prophet said, do not say. When, when the narrators of the Jews come to you, that they narrate you the past history during the Moses time, do not tell them that you guys are lying and do not verify them until you know that you can take well, benefit. Because some uh, remember, during that time, there was oral tradition. You remember, we, didn't use, we, we never used to have cameras. We, we never used to have technology. Okay, so my friend, let's, let's go. Let's go to something else. 
How long no, we are talking? Let us talk. Let us talk. My friend, you told criteria? me whatever you want to say. Uh, you are wasting my time. I told you. I told you what the criteria in the Quran. You have to ask the Christian and the it Jews. Only, only the Quran never said. The Quran never say. Never say the Quran. Hold on. The Quran never say. And you agreed. Never say to you go and ask someone is a Muslim. He said to you go and ask the Christian and the Jews. That's why I said part of your answer is right, but not complete. No, it's complete because you have to show me if you can ask a Muslim. What, 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 what it says, go and ask Muslim. I give you a scenario. I give my, you my friend, my friend, let, let me ask let you a question. No, you are wasting point. my time. You are wasting my time. I don't want to talk about this. Here we go. No, we we, we, we got we Jesus. got a confirmation that you need to ask the Christians for you Muslims are ignorant. This is what the Quran is saying. Even the Quran call us people of the book. Why the Quran does not call you people of the why book? Will, why will I ask someone who worshiped Jesus who was breastfed by a woman? Why will I ask? Someone who is irrational. Well, you, you are you are irrational. You are the one who believe that you, you Jesus, my friend, my friend, hold on, 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 hold on. Let us let us see how funny it is. Worship, you are what you are the one who follow a man, he ordered your wife to give her boobs to a stranger. Who's more logical? You is that you is that rational for you? Is that rational for you? What is the what is your dignity? What is your dignity? What is what is the man on you? Shame on you! Shame on you to follow a prophet! Shame on you to follow a prophet! He teaches such a thing. Who's more logic? You are worshiping someone who was breastfed, who was washed. Prove it to me! Prove it to me that Jesus was breastfed. I want to I want to see it. Read it. I want to see. I want to see it. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Are you saying Are you saying your prophet was a liar? Are you saying your prophet was a liar? I'm asking you a question. You I, are Jesus you saying? Are you saying because the Quran says that Jesus he spoke in day number one and he was a mature person? Yes or no? Why are you turning away the topic? You are I'm the one. Sleeping. You are the one who talking about Jesus breastfeeding now. Do not, not me. Do not divert the topic. Do not divert from the topic, brother. Elijah, brother, 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 brother. Elijah, mean God is with us. Bring me Muhammad You're hijab. Not, don't, don't, Christian don't brother. go in circle. Christian don't go in circle. Christian. The one Christian. you are Christian. making Christian. fun Christian. of, the one you are making Christian. fun Christian. of, he is Christian. right now in heaven. How, let me ask you. Let me ask you. How Jesus? How Jesus? He did the breastfeeding, but yet he can resurrect people from the grave. Answer me. You're not allowing me to speak. No, I am allowed in you, but you, you try to change the topic. I want you not to escape. How Jesus for you is just a person who did the breastfeeding according to you, but you cannot prove it. But yet he was he was able he was able to resurrect people from the grave. I want to know. I do not worship him. I worship him. I worship him. I worship him because he can resurrect people from death. How can you worship uh, because he is God. Because he is God. The proof is the following: the proof that he can make the blind see. He resurrect people from death. He bring but people I, to yeah. life. He forgive your sin. He is right now in heaven, in even in your book. So That's how dare you to say, okay, let, uh, explain to me, explain to me why yeah. why you worship Allah when Allah cannot cannot create a fly. You are you are changing topics, man. How I'm not. Topics you are the one is talking to me was. about worshiping Jesus. I'm showing you. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? Just go. I have no time for kids. Guys, is it him who starts start talking about why you worship Jesus a breastfeeding? He was a breastfeed by his mother. We were talking about breastfeeding. He keep jumping like a monkey from topic to topic. I showed him all the reference, all the proof, and he didn't want to make a comment about it. He said, I need to ask the, the scholars. I showed him that the Quran says you need to ask the Christians, not the scholars. The Quran says that. And I am a Christian prince. Even your stupid book says to you, in order to learn, you need to ask the Christian and the Jews. And you are saying I'm changing topic. What does Jesus have to do with our topic? Why you jump to Jesus? Why you jump to worship in Jesus? And yet he's accusing me. I am changing topic. What kind of religion? What kind of people who have no dignity? You have to be a person who have no dignity to follow a man ordering an adult woman to give her boobs to a strange man. And you are the one in the beginning start making fun of this what i said and you said this is sexual intimacy it is you who said that you admitted that any man he suck a woman boobs a man we are not talking about children it is sexual intimacy and you said that so what muhammad is doing here why he is ordering women and adult women to suck to give her boobs to a stranger what is the wisdom behind that? Since when we can make a person my son and he is a man by sucking the boobs of or the nipples of a woman? You know me, guys? 
this is how stupid this religion is and yet i am the one who changed the topic hey abdul how are you i'm good okay so now i showed you the proof that this is and your friend the one who called after you he confirmed that that verse is about people who they are not married what do you say i don't give a damn what they say are you going are, by are you saying your brother are you saying your brother is a donkey are you, are you saying your brother is a donkey are you saying your brother you muhammad hijab is a donkey are you saying your brother you muhammad hijab shut up <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> His ass get hurt. You know, there is no verse in the Quran for stoning, for adultery in the Quran. Where the verse is gone? The answer is very simple. The goat ate it. There's a holy goat. May Allah bless her belly. Eight priceless verses in the Quran. And until now, it's meant when that if you go right now to the FBI in Saudi Arabia website, huh, you will find a, a picture of a goat. It says wanted, alive or dead. Take a note, please. We need to open her stomach immediately. Why are you are calling me back if you are going to fight? Hello? What? Yes. So are you going to, to answer me or not? Where is the punishment for adultery in the case of married women? I said I'm not gonna tell you till you deny that it's not in the Quran. If you deny that, where, where, I, where is the verse? Where is the verse? Deny it first. Where? It doesn't matter. It's not relevant. That's not relevant. What do you mean? Relevant? 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 Oh, that was in the Quran. The verse about stoning to death is not in the Quran for adultery. No, 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 no. I do, 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 do. I'm talking about the verse about a hundred lashes. That's why I don't believe in but that. This is not what about is married women. And we are, the, the the hadith I showed you, your your prophet wife, she said that God ate the Quran. Let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Are you saying your prophet wife she did lie? She is a liar when she said that. I think you got people, Arabs, people like you lied on her. Uh, who are they? Those Arabs? They are Muslims. They are Muslims. Why the Muslims? They are lying, saying Aisha. She said if she did not say. This guy, guys, this guy, this guy is a sheikh. By the way, this guy is a sheikh in a mosque, and he is losing his career. This is why he's shouting. Let me ask you, Abdul. I have a challenge for you. 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 To show me one interpretation in the word agree with you is that fair i, I don't you, you, you uh, uh, rashad khalifa Rashad khalifa he said this one Rashad khalifa was killed by the muslims he's not muslim he was killed by the muslims because he deleted oh, okay. verse from the now, quran now you need now you gotta decide who's muslim and who's not rashid khalifa is not a scholar abdul is a guy he just died 15 years ago are you stupid or what we're gonna go by the book abdul abdul i said to you show me one islamic interpretation one islamic interpretation believe that the verse this verse is about married people okay let me ask you one question can i ask you a question yeah you can ask me your question except the size of my shoe okay now tell me if if allow if if allow anywhere in the world hmm. if allow says a man or a woman who fornicates got a hundred lashes doesn't need any interpretation to say that this law is talking about married or, no, or not married man in Arabic. Does it say married man or married woman? No, it again, no, no, it doesn't say that. But the, that, that proof that the Quran is not a perfect book that that is a, that is a proof that is a proof that the Quran is a bad book because why Allah did not say that there is a difference between the punishment? Let me finish and, and, and answer my question. Let hmm. me finish my question and answer it. Hmm. Let me finish my question. I want the world to hear that you are a liar. Listen to me. Let me ask you one question and answer. Mm. You ready? Let me get ready. Hold, on. hold on. Let me put my shoes on. Hold on. No in the world hold on. Says... I'm, not ready. I'm not ready. Please hold on. Let me, let me breathe. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Ask me. I said, if Allah says, does it say in Arabic? When when Allah says Azani to Azani, mm. does it mean a married or not married? No. He said any woman fornicates or any man fornicates. Mm. Why would you? 
married or not married. He didn't say married or not married. Mm-hmm. He said any woman, just like he said, any woman or man who steals got their hand cut off. Okay. It, it, it didn't make no difference between married woman and... Okay. And, uh, can, I, and, uh, can I talk uh, now? Can I talk now? Can I talk now? Huh? Is it okay? Can I talk? I can talk? Your majesty, yes. Your Majesty, can I talk? Okay. So, can yeah. you explain to me why all the Muslim scholars, they say this is about unmarried women? And unmarried men, why they are saying that? I mean, you are a person who don't speak yeah. you don't speak Arabic, yes. and those are Arabs. Yes. all of them, all the scholars, Ajalain, Ibn Abbas, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, you name it, Ibn Kathir, all of them they are saying about those uh, this is about unmarried women. So I want your majesty to explain to us why all the Muslims look like they are donkeys, they do not know what the Quran is saying, but you are the horse. Go ahead, explain to us. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna tell you. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you see what happened. Hmm. In the time of Maria, do you know who Maria is? No, I never heard of him. He's still alive. Ma- Maria is after 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 Abu Bakr. Uh-huh. It's, it was Omar, right? After uh-huh. Omar, it was uh-huh. Omar. when Osman died. Mm-hmm. Ali was supposed to be taken over, right? Mm-hmm. Are you a Shia? Yeah. Yes. You are a Shia. Ali was supposed, but yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, the Shias are, are are following, but right. Maria took over. It was a fight between, you know, between uh, uh, between Maria and uh, and uh, and the Shia people, right? Mm-hmm. Maria's wife got caught fornicating. Maria's wife got caught fornicating, and then she was supposed to be beaten one hundred lashes. Mm-hmm. Maria said, "No, no, 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 no! I want her to die. Mm-hmm. I don't want her to leave." Mm-hmm. He said, "He he said to Abu Huera, create me a hadith. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you a jewel." I'm gonna give you a gift. Create me a hadith and help me kill her hmm. because my wife don't deceive me. Okay. So they created a hadith. They said um, a lady came to the Prophet Muhammad and said, "Hey, uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, Rasulullah, I fornicated." He said, "What?" He said, "I fornicated. I'm uh, pregnant." Is that story long? Is that story long? Make it short. No, no. Okay. No, uh, make, make it short. Hmm. At the end of the day. The, the 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 prophet told her, "Go to you, got your baby, and come back." Hmm. And then she went, got the baby, and come back. And and the prophet said, "Go ahead and 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 till, uh, come back in two years." Hmm. She came back two years later, and they said that the, they said hmm. Maria created the hadith, hmm. and they said the prophet killed her. The prophet never killed nobody. Hmm. Allah said in the Quran, hmm. the biggest oath, the biggest oath in the Quran is about Muhammad saying anything, anything that that is not the Quran. Okay, and what does this have to do with my topic, Abdul? What, what does this have to do with my topic? What are you talking about? I'm sleepy now. What is the answer? Let me, let me, yes. let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. You, you see, I gave you five minutes to say, and you said nothing. Let me get you busted. Read with me carefully. Oh, okay. Let me read carefully. Uh, a woman, she right. is, the woman, if uh, you said a Zani and Zania does not mean a woman, she is married or not, right? Uh, uh, I want you. I, I want you to be honest. I want you to translate exactly for people. What does it mean? Since you understand Arab Arabic, my friend, what does my, it friend mean? my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Let me get you busted. Let me get you. Let me show you how stupid you are. Let me show you how stupid you are. Let me show you how stupid you are. Officially certified donkey. The same chapter we are reading you, donkey. It says in chapter 24, verse number three. So this is not about married. He's saying, and a woman, she is an adulteress. No man can. What? Translate the verse. I, I will translate. Here we go. Don't shout. Don't shout. He goes, this is Yusuf Ali, Abdul Batato. And those I'm who right. launch a charge Little against Lord. chesty women, right. Abdul, it's Abdul, right. Abdul, Abdul, read with me. Let no man guilty of adultery or fornication marry, but a woman similar guilty. And this is the word here is used, Zania. This is the verse after it right away. This is the verse uh, after it. So now he's talking right. about he's talking uh, about uh, the second punishment. Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. The second punishment for those who committed adultery is you cannot marry. As an adulterer, unless you marry an adulterer like you, so they okay, are not now. married. This is why they are not married. A woman, she is not married. She cannot marry okay. and accept a man who is adulterer like her. If she is okay, married, me... if she is married, how she is going to marry again? Let, let me, <laughs> let me, 
Let me tell you how wrong you are. Oh, Let well. me tell you how wrong you are. Abdul, 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 Abdul. What, what, what about we do this? What about do we do this? What if we go to the Shia interpretation? What if we go to the Shia interpretation and get you busted? Is that fair? Is that is that fair? If we go, what we go? Why we don't go to the Shia? As long as you are a Shia, can we go? Can we go to the Shia interpretation? Can we no. go? Ba, 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 ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Can we go to the Shia interpretation? Yes or no? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't call me again. What a donkey! Okay, you are a Sunni. You are a Shia. You are not a Sunni. I understand. You are from different religion, worshiping Muhammad and his family, and they think you are, they are made from light. And obviously, Muhammad was from light. Even his mother, she said, when she gave birth to him. A light came from her vagina and reached all the way to Damascus. At that time, I was in Iraq and I saw the light myself. Until now, the light there. What a stupid donkey. Why you don't want to go? Okay, you don't want to go with the Sunni. We go to the Shia. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. How are you? Hello. Did you check the reference I gave you, Mr. Muhammad? Yes, you said the unmarried couple is not found in the Quran. I agree with you. Hmm. We agree on that, yes or no? Yeah, but I asked you to go and check about the breastfeeding for adult. Yes, it's the hadith is found in Sahih Muslim six and one thousand six hundred and ninety. Hmm. You can check. You can check it from yourself. He's okay. saying if a married woman or woman commits adultery, then they are to be stoned. No, this is not, not, not the topic. I asked you. You said you want to go and check about the breast. Feeding for adults. So, what happened with that? So one? now we, we are not dealing with uh, uh, the phone. Uh, the yeah, this is with the, this Abdul. This this guy is a Shia. Now uh, I, you 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 know we spoke me and you for some oh, let's time. Let's address. No no okay. no. Let's address this topic okay. now. So so what happened now with the breastfeeding? Did you search? Did you not find the an answer? You want me to address the adultery or or the breastfeeding? No, let us finish the the, the breastfeeding. I, your specialty is uh, breastfeeding. His specialty yeah. is the adultery. Let's go. So said, what did you find? My friend, this is not my topic. So don't tell me. So you have no answer. Is that is that the I answer? Is that the answer? You have no answer. Which topic do you want me to address? Do you have an answer or not? Do you have an answer or not? Make it short. Do you have an answer or not? I cannot comment. Okay, that. then let us change the topic. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the the part where uh, the the fornication part. Okay. Right. I agree with you that the, the, the married couple, the Quran did not mention it, only mentioned and married. Hmm. So the other one we rely on the Sunnah. Okay. The what, what, the, what the Sunnah says about married women and married men? Narrated by narrated by Abu Muslim 1690. Mm -hmm. That's the hadith. Okay. It's saying if if an married person commits fornication with an no no, it's saying if a married woman or a woman commits adultery, then they are to be stoned to death. Because the prophet peace that's, be upon him, that's, said. that's wonderful. Okay, so now this is you know, but you this is me, but this is me, my reference. friend. But this is mean that the Quran is not a perfect book because why it's not in the Quran? I mean, this is something extremely important. We cannot this take is, only the Quran, our two sources. We have two sources, bro. So, so, like so Islam is I'm not, not Islam I'm is not Shia. no I'm problem, Shia. no problem. Shia. Even, even Shia, Shia have hadith, my friend. Even Shia, they have hadith more than you. Who told you Shia don't have it? The Shia, they, the Shia yeah. they have hadith more than the Muslim Sunni three, four times more. What are you talking about? Let me state my point. Please give yeah. me a chance. Yeah. Let me state my point. Okay. We rely on two sources. The divine laws are two sources the mm. Sunnah and the Quran. Mm. We cannot take the Quran only because okay. that's illegal. It's not allowed. Okay. Read with me carefully. Because the context my friend, will my get friend, lost. My friend, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is authentic hadith. This is Omar. Then why are you relying on Bukhari if you, you, you are not allowing me to use on, also that? Because the, the tradition of hadith is also part of our religion. Why are you saying we only rely on the Quran? What's your point, brother? No, no you see, you see, I'm saying to oh, you, Christian I'm saying brothers. to you, I'm saying to you, we rely on the hadith. We are relying on the hadith, but where is the hadith? That's my point. Where is the, the No, reference. no, no. You see, we have a problem here. We have a problem. You are you are you are saying we are you are saying we rely in the hadith, but we cannot find in the hadith the verse of stoning to death. What is the verse? I said we have two divine laws. You don't get my are you are you saying the hadith is divine? Yes, it's divine. So how you say to me how you say to me that five minutes ago that the divine is daif? Define law is what I mean is that define laws. The Quran, my is friend, are you to the one who said to me, Daif, how it is hadith is divine for it you, but it's but, but is involving it's Daif, involve weak, involve corruption. How it is divine, but it's corrupt. 
when it's the if it means the chain of narration they were liars okay so is it accepted or not is it accepted or not is it accepted on different case is it accepted or not let me explain is the if accepted or not give me an answer don't explain no either you say it is accepted or you say it is not if hadith we do not rely Okay, so you just confirm, you just confirm that you have, you just confirm, you just confirm that you have a divine law. It's called the hadith and full of corruption. Thank you very much. How that can be? Be fair, be fair. Give me a chance now to speak. Go ahead. What I said is, we have two sources. We have the Quran and the hadith. I said both of them they are considered divine laws because the Prophet Muhammad never took through his desires. Go to Surah Najm, the start of the ayah. It says, "Wama yantuqa anil hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha." You understand Arabic, brother? It means the Prophet never spoke through his desires. All his speech were from the revelation. Hmm. Angel Gabriel came to him, he revealed to him. Hmm. Let, that's, me that's how Let me ask you. Did, no, I, no. did I hear oh you say in the chapter of Al-Najm? Did, did I hear Tell the chapter? Did I hear you he did I hear you say in the chapter of Al-Najm? Is that correct? Yeah, Surah Najm. Why, 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 why it's called the chapter of Al-Najm? Al-Najm it means the stars, yeah. Okay, is it true that Allah he swear by the star? Because he's the creator, he can do what whatever he wants. Okay, if Allah create the but cockroach, if Allah create the cockroach, he will swear by the cockroach. He can do anything. Uh, is it true in the Quran, Allah he swear by the fig? Yes, he can do. Anything. What's what's I wrong said, with this God? We know when somebody swear, he swear by something greater than him. How? What do you mean how? When somebody swear, he swear by something greater than him. Why Allah swear by the fig and the cockroach? He's the creator. He can do whatever he wants. We don't question him. Okay, so how come he can do whatever he wants, but he cannot be a That's man? So how how come right? how come he swear he can swear by the fake, but he cannot be a man? What's your point? Well, you 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 see, the second we ask you about something impossible to believe that God is swearing by something silly and stupid like the fig or cockroach, the and then he it's okay. He's the creator. Wants. Okay, as long as you agree, yes, he is the creator. He can do whatever he wants. How come he's he cannot? Powerful. How he's come he cannot be a man? As long as he can do whatever he wants, he's the creator. A second ago, you told me he's the creator. He Why can do whatever are you he wants. Abdul, listen. I don't understand. In the chapter of An Najm, let me show you something silly about your religion. I'm not insulting you, by the way. I hope I, I hope you want to take it as an insult. I, this is how I talk. Is it, is, it, is it true? Is it true? Is it true that in the chapter of Al-Najm, your prophet he said to his cousin, because he said, brother and sister, you see, he's not honest. My he's friend, my honest. friend, my friend, you are the one who he's mentioned lying. the chapter of Al-Najm. You are the one who mentioned the chapter of Al-Najm. I I let you speak. I, it's my time to speak. Is it yeah, true that is it true your prophet he said to his cousin because he refused to believe in the Lord of the Star? Did he say to him, "You are a kafir"? Yes or no? Are you jumping the topics, brother? We are not changing the topic. You are the one who mentioned the chapter of an najm not me. Why I you go said, there? I said the God can can swear whatever He wants because no problem, no problem. Things. Is it true that in the, the chapter of an najm is it true that your God in the chapter of an najm your prophet, He explained that Allah He have a dog? Where well, in, uh, in which verse? The, not, the chapter, the chapter of an najm He didn't do that. You are liar. Okay. Do, do you do you do, are you willing to challenge me? Where's the reference? Give me the reference. Are you willing you to challenge to me? From your own words? Are you willing to challenge me? What if I show you the go, reference? Go to Surah Najm now. Let's go. Which verse is it? Hmm. No, I will show. I said. I said you're a prophet. Said I did not say the Quran said. Do, are you willing to challenge me? That, 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 that's not trustworthy. That's not authority. Ah, it's your not authority. So, authority. so you see, guys, any, anything, 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 anything is embarrassing. Anything is embarrassing is not authority. When they want, it is authority. When they want, it's not authority. No, no, remove the is that, on, is, on that, is that the game? Let is that the game? Is that the Let game? Is that the game? You know, is that Where's the Abdul? Where's your proof? Okay, Where's I will show proof? you the proof. Here we go. Okay, no problem. Remove the proof. So, Ranad, we can go now. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't like you, Christian brothers and sisters, please. My friend, my friend, not my friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. Here we go. What do you want? You want the proof, don't you? Don't you want, my friend? Don't you want? Don't you want the proof? Hmm? Don't you want the proof? Okay. Here we go. We'll make you read it. Which surah is that? The only religion, the god of that religion, have a dog is Islam. Where's the reference? You put it on the screen. It's in the screen. Well, I cannot see any chapter of an Najm, chapter of an Najm, Tafsir al Tabari, page number, yeah. volume number, volume number, uh, 
23, uh, page number 493, 494, 495. It says here your prophet, he said, he said to, to his cousin, Why are you using he said, he Quran? said, to, uh, okay, what do you want? What do you want? What tafsir do you want? What tafsir do you I want? I want the Quran. Go to the Quran. Why is that? Well, this is, uh, you see, you, you see, you, you, this is how hypocrite you are. So you if I origin? try to explain the Quran up to myself, you say to me, you cannot do that. You have to go to tafsir. When I show you your Islamic Sunni tafsir, this guy is not a Sufi. This guy is a Muslim Sunni. So now what we will Give do. Me the what? Give me the fast, then. Ibn Abbas. The Ibn Abbas. You like Ibn Abbas? You like Ibn Abbas? What's the verse? What? What's the chapter? Give me the reference of, from the Quran. Ah, and then okay. I can, I can uh, go to explanation. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, no problem. Give me give me the the chapter and when the verse. When is a hawa, the chapter of An-Najm, verse number one. I told you already. Quran Najm is 53, chapter 53. The chapter of An-Najm, verse number one. Verse number one, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's saying, it's saying when Najm is a hawa, by yes. the star, when yes. it descends. Yes. Your prophet, he said to his companion, his cousin, his cousin, he said to him, Aren't you afraid that Allah dog will eat you? No, no, you're a liar. That's not Surah Najm, man. That's it's not not Surah Abdul, Najm. Don't, don't tell me I'm a liar. I'm showing it in screen. People will laugh at you. You did not quote, you did not quote the verse. Where is the verse? Strip it. I am quoting the interpretation. No, that's not reliable, man. Ah, not real. So look like you Muslims, you have a religion, nothing in it in reliable. I mean, whatever no, I quote said, for you. You, you said the how, Quran. How you know? How you know it is not a reliable? How you know that? How you get that conclusion, my friend? It's how fast Quran. are you? How fast are you in getting the answer right? The you are you are the, the you are the fastest computer ever. Anything I say to you, you say it's not reliable. That's the verse. It's saying by the star when it descends. Okay, what that's happened in the story? What happened in that story? That's a star. God swore what by happened? The star. What happened in that story? Explain to me what this it's story is about. Meaning. It's apparent meaning. What do they want what, to explain? What happened? No, there is explanation. You as a Muslim, if you want to learn about this story, what happened? Where do you go? You see, now our, now our scholars become godly divine. Yeah? Where do you go? Ah, see guys, now, now his, his scholars, they are godly divine. A second ago, so you are saying to me we should not go to the scholars? Are you saying that? Uh, scholars are not invaluable. Who cares if they are invaluable or not? All your religion, all the hadith is coming from what? It's coming from men, human being like you. Your prophet is a human being like you. So how come, how come all of them, they are not invaluable, but Muhammad is not invaluable? Isn't it Muhammad? You say, you say, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. You said, Muhammad, you don't say anything except from Allah. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Can you explain to me the chapter of At Tahrim? Now you jumped another topic. No, I'm showing you that you are a hypocrite. The Quran says that Muhammad is a liar. Muhammad, he fabricates Quran. He fabricates, he fabricates his own. I am not, you see, get lost, get lost. Don't call me, don't call me. I want an adult to call me. Please give me an adult. Each time I show them the reference in the front of their face, they say it's not reliable, with no proof. Anything I show them, the easiest answer, it is not accepted. If you are a person who speak of a truth, show me the reference where it says it's not accepted. I show you your scholars, not a donkey from the street. When I mention to you a name of a scholar, I am not making my own claim. It's not me who's saying that. In order to prove me wrong, you have to show me the scholar who said that this hadith or this story is not accepted. Show me. But look how fast they say it's not reliable. Immediately. That guy, even he never heard this about this before. Just because you don't like it, it's not reliable, brother. Do you see it? Do you see the hypocrisy? In the speed of light, anything they see, they, he, he never heard of it before, which means he never studied it, and there's no way he knew the answer immediately. But immediately he come to the conclusion is not reliable, brother. The other donkey, he says to me, that this verse, it is about married and unmarried, but the verse after it says, what, if they are married or not? The verse after it right away it says if they are married or not it says that those who they are do zina they cannot get married if i mean anyone, anyone except the one who is doing zina like them doing adultery like them <laughs> women and men guys do you see the best example of hypocrisy in islam 
what kind of a prophet he say to his cousin aren't you afraid the dog of Allah he eat you <laughs> the dog of Allah Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. who wanna call me from the Muslims and say to me what Muhammad said Christian Prince aren't you afraid the dog of Allah to eat you I'm really scared I'm really terrified the dog of Allah wow Allah dog I mean Allah has a dog I thought Allah hate dogs isn't it Allah who told Muhammad to kill all the dogs because they are najis dirty then we find out surprise surprise the hypocrite Allah he himself he have a dog and what he feed him he feed him a human Yes, Muhammad. Yeah, uh, let are, me clarify. Are you going to speak to me in an academic way as a, as an adult, or you are going just to say anything I say to you? It says it's fabricated. It's not accepted. Let's agree something. Criteria. Okay. Are you are you willing to prove to me what you say, no, or you just throw things on me? Are no, you no. are you willing to throw things at me, or willing to give me proofs of what you say? What's our criteria? Criteria, criteria is when you say to me this is not accepted, you have to prove it. Do you agree? That's not criteria. No, this is the correct. No, no, this is what we do here. We have to prove it. Otherwise, I can say to you, it's not accepted. You can say to me, it's not accepted, but nobody proved it. So, what's the point of this talk? Correct, guys? He don't want to prove to me that it's not accepted. He just want to say it's not accepted. No, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Please, I don't, I don't have time for kids. I'm here to talk to adult. When I speak to you about something, I show you the reference, I prove it to you. If you are a man, adult, show me that this is not accepted. The same as I showed you, show me. Otherwise, I'm not here to have a conversation over stupidity. When I say to you, Allah have a dog, I prove it. When I say to you that the Prophet, he ordered women to give their nipples to strangers, and this is why I want to convert to Islam, I cannot wait to go to your country, my friend. And I will visit every Muslim. I will make a lot of Muslim friends just because they want to give me their wife boobs. I will visit only the young ones, by the way. I mean, what kind of religion? What kind of a prophet his prophet is? And he is the one who said, well, a man, he do that as a sexual intimacy. So how you can stop a person from having sexual intimacy by sexual intimacy? What kind of a prophet? The woman, she is saying to him, my husband is upset because this guy, he look at me. You know, he's angry because we have a foreigner in the house. How come the prophet, he says, give him your boobs? He's making fun of you, obviously. And he have to do it 10 different times until he is satisfied. And Aisha, she used to order her sister. Any man, when I enter upon her, he have to sit in her lap. The prophet sister, the prophet wife sister. His secretary, the secretary of Aisha is her sister. And what she do for a living? She give her nipples. Before I heard about many things happen in the security room, but I never heard of such a thing before To be a religious practice. I know that there is some men they suck this they suck the nipples of their secretary But I never heard of a prophet and a wife of a prophet she practiced that Any man when I enter upon Aisha he have to suck her nipples and this is why I feel really upset I was not exist in the time of Aisha. I mean, I'm not lucky. It looked like it used to be fun at that time. I will go visit Aisha every day. What kind of cult this cult is? And the other guy, the shake, this guy, by the way, is a shake. He's, he's a shake. He was shaking. He's saying to me, it doesn't say that I'm a Shia. And he started talking about Muawiyah. They hate Muawiyah, you know. They hate Muawiyah because Muawiyah, he killed the, the half of their family, the, the, the Muhammad. If not all of them. But what does this have to do with Muawiyah, my friend? Even your Shia accept that. What a stupid answer.
guys do you think if we hire some uh, this the, the secretary and she do breastfeeding for adult we will get more abdul's to call i think will give will become more popular even cnn will talk about it they will say there's a guy his name is a christian prince in uh, youtube he hire girls from the islamic society to do breastfeeding for adult actually i was thinking to open such a business you know but the problem i don't have enough money you see i was thinking and this is serious by the way so true story true story i was trying to open drive through breastfeeding in las vegas i mean think about it there's a drive there's drive through hamburger fast food pizza but there's no drive through a breastfeeding for adult take beer we will have a bunch of women lining up in the window and we will open a hole in the window and then people they line up in their cars and they put their head up they put the coins we give them the nipples perfect very 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 practical religion Who want to be partner with me in this business, Islamic business? Breastfeeding for adult. We will open the biggest business in Las Vegas. We will become very popular and you will see men are lined up from around the earth. Hmm? Hello? What a stupid religion. This is a religion? <laughs> if this is a religion, what is cult? Correct? If this is a religion, what is called then? And here today you learn that anything you say to the Muslims, expose their cult right away, they say to you, it is not authentic. It doesn't matter what it is. Why you are calling me back? My friend, why you are calling me back? You are not willing me willing to show me any proof, any reference. So what, what the talk is about? I want to talk to adult people, not people want to shout at me and you know tell me we don't accept. Okay, you don't accept. Go. Cool. I'm showing you reference, my friend. I'm not showing you my own words. Those are not the Christian books. Those are your books. Yes, Muhammad. Why you are calling me, my friend? Hello. Yeah. Why you are calling me, Muhammad? What for? Why are we scared? We, we should have. Well, you are the one who is scared. You will not show me any proof that I'm wrong. Who is Let scared? Let me give you my criteria. No, you Let don't have a criteria. The criteria is if somebody want to prove something, he prove it. He prove it. He show reference. Even if it comes from from Arabic sources and you're I don't. Christian, you know, you, have, you have to show me what what Christian source. What the Christian sources have to do with the breastfeed for adult? No, your Christian brothers do not understand Arabic, and you keep Christian brother. Weak Christian brother don't speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? You are Christian brothers and sisters. Do you, do you speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? Is that fair? Is that do you fair, speak possible? Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? My, my Arabic is not that strong. But so I what, why you are, why you are mentioning something you are not good in it? Why you mention they are the same as as uh, Muhammad Hijab? He is make, he's making mockery of people who don't speak Hebrew, but himself he don't speak Hebrew. He's making it's fun of somebody who don't speak Arabic, Arabic, but he is a stupid. He say Allah he pray. What do you think about Muhammad Hijab saying Allah he pray for? Muhammad Hijab is more knowledgeable than you, man. Let's this, be honest. Th this is not yeah. my. I'm asking you. What do you think about him when he said Allah? He pray for, not pray to. Do you agree with that? But pray for. That's a blessing. You know the word Arabic. You saw my, my friend. My minutes. friend. My friend. So you agree with him? It's a blessing. Uh, it's pray for. What, what does Salah mean in Arabic? My, Arabic my, I'm asking you. Do you agree when he said Allah pray for? Yes or no? Pray means blessings. No, no, my friend. Pray. Pray means he pray. Supplication, not blessing. Coming from God, it comes blessing as a form of blessing. My friend, okay, let us go with you. If it is coming from God, well, that will make it a blessing. How the Allah and the angel, they do blessing at the same time. If Allah, he bless you, who need the blessing of the angel? What the angels can do? Man, it's a different, it's a different scenario. Specific what scenario? You apply if Allah, he blessed me already, why the verse says that Allah and the angels and the believers, they do pray on the prophet. 
you send blessings okay send a blessing prayers. i will go with you i will go with you if allah me, is god I, if allah is me, god already he blessed me what the angels can do more than allah god. blessing i'm asking you my friend listen carefully if allah is the god he is the highest if he already blessed me why the angels need to bless me i'm already blessed by god what the angels can do more if there's some if there is something can they can do more what, what are you questioning god's logic I'm not questioning. I'm asking you to to help me to understand because you, you are God? saying it's a blessing. It doesn't say blessing. It doesn't are say you blessing. It is your salary. You now listen, you listen, listen, listen. You do you agree with hijab saying Allah He pray for, or you don't agree? The word prayer it has many meanings, man. It I'm doesn't. No, no, no. The, 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 no. The word the, it, when you say pray when you say he, he said the pray he did not say blessing he did not say blessing he himself he used the word to pray he said Allah he pray for Muhammad do you agree with that no it means blessing man. that's what I my I friend it's a blessing then you should not use the word to pray in Arabic the word the blessing is different Baraka you bariku why you use the word to pray Arabic is rich language you salah means yeah yeah yes you salah means like greetings yeah yes. no my so, friend no my friend that's a big fat lie salat mean salat a praying mean salat mean a praying that's a big fat lie and even your your abdul he today he made a video saying that the there's there's a verse it says in chapter of atoba that the the prophet he pray on the believers all what he do he pray on the believers so when the prophet he pray on the believers is he sending blessing or he sending supplication the same sentence exactly it's a blessing uh, to be honest muhammad he can bless you no from god's perspective not from no perspective. no it says he he pray on them he pray on them so now you are comparing god to his creation what, what my friend it's you who compare god to his creation what kind of god he says you that are he are using I, I, specific I, I, abdul, abdul, using abdul, 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 abdul. I, I don't have time for kids talk you, you don't speak arabic you don't speak arabic you don't speak arabic hijab he said allah he pray for not pray to What's the context? That's what I'm asking. The context is Allah, He pray for Muhammad. How can Allah pray and He is the one who created? That's Muhammad. a good question because this, what the, what, this is what the word it says there, and He agree that this is the translation. This is the correct translation. Allah, He pray. He did not say Allah bless. He said Allah pray. Do you agree with Him? It doesn't mean like that, to be honest. It doesn't you know? matter what you argue. You can you can tell me later what it's mean. He said Allah, He pray for, not pray to. Let me give you my understanding of what he, it meant. You, I, I'm asking. Saying, I'm not asking you about now your understanding. I'm asking do you, do you do you agree with him when he say Allah he pray for? Uh, pray for is the prepos uh, the preposition is very wrong. I think pray for. Okay, so is it correct or it's wrong? Answer. Mm, it's wrong. Wrong. Okay, so this this gentleman he agree. That Muhammad Hijab he made a big mistake by saying Allah pray for. What is the correct answer, Mr. Muhammad? That form is a blessing, to be honest. Okay, blessing. How you know it's a blessing? Because the word is Arabic, it can be interchanged, it has many synonyms. My friend, the word you saw always about prayer, never been about blessing. That's a lie. That's why I said the basic level of definition of you saw means prayer i agree with you my friend but in the context my friend my friend context, in the context is 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 it clear is it the context, is it clear you know, my arabic is, you know that arabic is very rich language it has many meanings you see you just shot yourself again so if if the arabic is a very rich language why allah he used the wrong word so you're calling Allah stupid according to your logic. Eh? Yes, he is very stupid. Why not? Then, because then because you a, because you, because you are saying to me that the Arabic you is. Jesus who you are the you. one. Hold on. You are the it's one who said. You are the one who just said. But you, that, you see, here we go. You change the topic. You, you accuse me no, to no, change no. topic. Who's you are the one okay. who said. You are the one who said Arabic is a very rich language. So why Allah is using that word when He can use the word of blessing? There is many words for blessing. Why He is using Salah? Salah mean pray. Uh, give me one minute, please. I will give you 10 years. Uh, just give me a second, please. Uh, mm. Just to mm. clear with your misconception. Mm. Your doubts are, are weaker than the spider house, man. What? Your, your, your arguments or your doubts are weaker than the, the spider, the houses of the spider. No, you, let me show you how stupid your God when he said that because this is a verse in the Quran. According to science, the spider house is the most, is most strong. And this, the, the whip of the spider is the most strong fabric.
to the point they are making from the fabric of the spider bulletproof vest. What are you talking about? Your God is a stupid again. Do you see how the spider, when he go and he jump from the roof in a line so thin, do you know why he can? it can carry him? The spider is so heavy considering to the line which is carried it because it's so strong. Your your God comparison between look, the word the, meaning Abdul Abdul you see you see you see you just gave me an example that your God Arabic is a stupid Arabic how he so can you, how he can it. say how he can say the spider web is so weak when it is really powerful and so strong in in its original format is weaker because of the house of, of the spider my friend the house of the spider is so strong. Is That's extreme is extremely like, there is no specific situation what because when you compare let me show you how like stupid let me let me show you how stupid what you just said when you when you compare the house of the spider are you comparing his house to the house of the elephant or to the house of other insect uh, let me ask you a question is the house of the do, you compare, do you compare do you compare do you compare the spider house do you compare a spider to other insect or you compare him to to you a spider is the weakest in any home. Abdul, how it is all. how it is the weakest when the spider he is can he can capture a huge insect with it. The house we are we're not talking about the the, 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 the spider. This is his house. This is his house. It's in the middle of nowhere. Still he it can handle storms, it can handle everything, and he can hunt with it. Stop misconstruing, man. My, my friend, my friend, you can go right the now, thing. guys. Go right now and search. Go right now and search, and you Let's will find you will find that scientists discover that a spider web is the most powerful. Even the the material it's made, with the spider made from his house from, is extremely powerful. So here, your God is proving to us again that his Arabic and his logic is weak. Same time, aren't you Muslim? Says that your prophet he was protected by the spider web house. Yes, it's narration that okay. it means it, how, it how the house of the spider is the most weak, but the most weak was able to protect your prophet. It was a covering. Doesn't matter. He was hiding, he was protected, he was saved because the most weak house of the spider. But 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 it's a different context. You're what but but what but 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 you're a prophet according to you, it's a fiction story, it's a lie, there's no proof of it, by the way. He was he was saved by the whip house, what's and yet proof? and yet, what do you mean? What you you are the one who said it's the hadith says that. That's why I said it. There was a covering of, of the cave. There was a spider. Doesn't matter. Yes, so so you you I are agree with you. so I you, agree you with agree you. that the spider web. I was, didn't refuse. I agree okay, with you. all right. So now how it is the most weak one, but yet it was the most powerful, saving Muhammad from being killed. It wasn't saving. That's not the context. What do you mean saving? He was going to be killed. They chase him right inside the cave, and because they saw Are the you web... stupid. How can how can a spider save someone? Abdul, the stupid is you. You are the one who said to me man, that this is story is it true? This is a story. This is story. Man. This is story is a truth. Was your prophet saved because of the web, or because true, of the spider? You, Abdul, you was your wrong. prophet saved his ass because of the web of the spider, or because of the spider? Let me explain how it is the story. Mm, explain. It means the spider, the spider was covered on the uh, on the gate of where the cave was. Mm. Yes or no? That's the context of the story. That and means the covering was a spider, but it doesn't mean it protected. What do you mean? Uh, why, so what? What? What saved Muhammad? What saved Muhammad from being killed? You know the spiders they usually form in the houses. What? What Muhammad? What? How Muhammad was saved from being killed? Isn't it the spider web saved him? Spider to protect his angel. Uh, angel Jibril was sent to protect him, and Allah by by his divine law. Get lost. By the way, the story about Muhammad protected by the spider is a fiction. It is a fiction. You see, I show always authentic hadith proving to this guy what I say. But if we ask him now, can you show us where the story is coming from? You will find it's a fiction. It's a lie. And Muhammad was not saved. Muhammad was killed by poison. This is your prophet wife confirming that how Muhammad he died. Hello?
Hello. Yes, my friend. Are you Muslim? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Are you Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you like to say to us, Mister? I don't know what's your name. What's your name? I love camel piss. Your name? You love camel piss? Yes, that's my name. Okay, and camel piss. He loves you. I blocked you already. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? What? I mean, they fabricated stories. And by the way, Muhammad being killed by poison is a very clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because the Quran says if Muhammad he fabricate Quran claim that it's coming from God Allah is going to cut his artery chapter 69 verse number 46 minhu al-watin. why why Allah will cut his artery if he fabricated Quran if and if the messenger were to invent any saying in our name, we should certainly size him by his right hand, and we should certainly then cut off his artery of his heart. Then we go to the hadith and we find, surprise, surprise, Muhammad, he died by the same way he described that he would be killed if he fabricate Quran. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Muhammad, he got himself busted. He said, if I am fabricating Quran, Allah will cut my artery. And then the Abdul, because he's slow, he's, he have a low IQ, he forgot what he said before. So now he's saying to his wife, oh, pff, Aisha, Aisha, I still feel the pain, the pain, Aisha, by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, at this time, my order, my order. This is why, by the way, when I go abroad, I don't take my order with me. My order is being cut off from the poison. What this guy will say, he will say this is not authentic. I challenge you. This is Sahih Bukhari. Is very authentic, guys. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you are Christian or non Christian, and if you are a Muslim, don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe. Because if you subscribe to my channel, is the bad deed by unsubscribing, Allah will wipe the bad deeds. This way, you win, you know, the logic of Islam. The good deed will wipe the bad deeds. We rape women in the morning, we donate money for charity at night. And that will wipe the bad deeds. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? As you see, guys, we show them in the screen. And yet they are in denial. But denial is a great sign because they are shocked, they are ashamed, and they do not know what to say. When this guy, he say, we have two divine. We have the hadith and we have the Quran. And yet he keeps saying to me that the hadith is full of corruption. How that can be divine? Right? How that can be divine? How we can trust Islam to be a religion if you are saying to me the other source is not trustworthy? There's tons of it, it's false.
Do we have any Abdul? Anything we show them in the front of their eyes, we show the proof, we show the reference, we show them from their website, from their Muslim books, right away, anything is embarrassing. They say, ah, it's not accepted. As simple as that. The same as Muhammad Hijab when he was debating with David Wood, whatever David Wood he gave him, what he say? If you remember, David Wood, he said to him, Allah has parts, scars of Islam agree. What, what uh, Muhammad Hijab? He said to him, what scholars? I mean, all this <laughs> argument you answered by saying what scholars? That's it? <laughs> You're, how are you, my friend? I'm okay, CP. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I noticed a while back that um, well, something you said way back when you were debating the guy, um, the two guys at once over in Memphis, like the, I forget their names, but one of them is like the head Sunni in North America, and the other was the local sheikh in Memphis. You know, the guy that says no one knows what uh, what is Allah. Yeah, yeah, the Dr. Nabil Baikli and Imam Malik Sar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, back in that debate, one of the things you said, uh, yeah, hey everybody, how you guys doing? One of the things you said, you know, you know, when I show them, when I open their books. And I show them what is written there. They get mad at me. And and that's really it. The, the only thing that we're doing, uh, that you do and we're trying to learn to do, is just to look at the Islamic sources, look at the Quran, look at the Hadith, open it up, and read it back to them. Just read what it says. You know, um, they may be surprised to find this out, but when I first started to study Islam, you know, I looked at it, I examined the claim, you know, is Muhammad actually a prophet? What did it say? What did he give? What did he bring? You know, looked at it with actually an open mind to see if he added anything. You know, naturally, when I read it, it, it didn't take long to find out that, you know, he's not a prophet at all. Actually, he's, he's a rather obvious false prophet. But at the same time, I just gave the sources an honest reading, you know, and at the same time, try to find Islamic shakes and see what they say on it to see if their arguments hold water. But, you know, but they don't do that. And then the guys today held true to form. You show them the stuff on the screen and then you tell them the reference and then you say, you know, well, what do you say to this? And his response is, well, it is, it's, it's rejected, you know, it's, it's, it's not authentic. <laughs> yeah, you know? but it's, it is authentic. It's a lie, you know, they, right away, anything you say to them, they are allowed to practice taqiyya. Taqiyya is a very well-known practice in Islam. To protect Islam, you are allowed to lie, you know? So, yeah. right away, any, anything you say to them, it is rejected. And this is the easiest, fastest way to stop this guy. This is why, you have to be consistent and you have to force them to prove it. You don't let them go away with it. Yeah. No? Yeah, but are, are they are they lying or are they just ignorant? No, no, they are lying. They knew. You see, do you remember uh, Dr. Rohi? Dr. Yeah, Rohi. Rohi. Okay. Yes. Dr. Rohi is a person who has a PhD in Islam. I mentioned to him hadith, if you remember. He said to me, This is weak. Right? So mm -hmm. I said to him, Dr. Rohi, are you sure? A week after he came and he said, I agree it is not weak. Do you know why he agree? Uh, no. Because why? he went in Pal Talk and the, the, the Christian there, they shower him. They start making fun of him for saying it's weak. So, you know, he thought, okay, he can, he thought he would say to me it's weak and I would let it go. You know, mm -hmm. like, okay, I would say to him it's weak and then nobody would notice, like in the conversation, nobody even, he would not insist to prove it. But it did not go. And then he have to fix himself and say, "Well, it is not weak. You are right." So, okay. so you're saying the Christians there got on his case? Yeah, they not chased him. They, they start making jokes of him. Any anywhere he go in chat rooms, they start saying to him, "Hey, uh, this is weak." 
<laughs> this is a week, you know. <laughs> so, so he he had to fix himself. He had to correct himself. Otherwise, he became a joke, you know. He just to get his whole respect back. But they use the strategy to say to you, "It's weak," mm -hmm. hoping yeah. that you will let it go and you will not insist to get a proof of what they, he claimed, you know. Yeah, but how can they hold that in their own head, though? I mean, if if he's a political Islam, you it's okay. He's a protector in Islam. It's okay for a Muslim to lie in order to protect Islam. He's not doing wrong. No, no I'm not saying. How does he justify the lying? I understand that. You, you know, know, he would say he was wrong. Oh, he would say he was wrong. No, but, but that's, that's not what I'm asking. I'm not disagreeing with you, but that's you're not quite answering what I'm trying to ask. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is this. Okay. He he's reading something. He comes across something. It's an honest contradiction. Okay. So he lies about it to save face in the short run because. While he's in a debate with you, he's under the gun. So he tells a lie to get out of that. Okay, I understand that. But if he honestly thinks that there's contradictory material, contradictory material, how does he justify going along with it to himself? I mean, how does he say, yeah, my Quran says one thing here and it says another thing there, but it's okay, I can still believe in it. How does he justify that? To himself, you know, you know, he, he himself, he himself is stuck with it, and he have no choice. I mean, he, he's a Muslim. He is a, he's making a living from this business, and if he what he what do you want him to say? He want him to say that this Islam is stupid. You cannot. Many of them we debate them. They knew it's stupid. Like this guy now, the guy Hassan. We showed him the breastfeeding for adult. The first time he heard about it, what he said, I don't know if you were hearing. He said, it, "This is sexual intimacy." Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. how come this is not sexual intimacy after? <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, he yeah. said it's a sexual intimacy between a man and his wife. Okay, wonderful. So they are married, and they have you know they can do that, no problem, a wife and husband. But what is the reason for a woman? She is not married to a man to give her boobs to a strange man, so he will suck her nipples ten times until he satisfied. Ten times is not ten times ten seconds. No. It's not like like you take your and you bite one two three no you have to to do it in ten different days. Yeah. Each time Satis you do it, yeah. Each time you do it, you have to do it until you are satisfied. Right. And I challenge the Muslim to tell me what satisfied mean here. <laughs> what does that mean yeah. until he have orgasm? Yeah. Muslims, can you tell me what do you mean by that the Muslim man he can suck the nipples of a strange Muslim women in the bus? You know, there's, there's a, uh, there, there is an Egyptian uh, uh, woman. She was talking to the sheikh about it. She had an interview with him. She said to him, are you saying now that all those men who work with me in the studio, I have to suckle them? He said, yes, including me. <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah, but, but that's what it says. I mean, it's as fantastic as it is, we're not making it up. It actually says that. It is, so, yeah, absolutely. This is what it says, and this is what the Muhammad practice, and this is what the Aisha practice. But you see, uh, when when the dean, the dean of the uh, of uh, the Hadith uh, uh, in in Al Azhar University, uh, let me let me do this. Let me search for the Hadith, the, the, the story. The dean of the uh, the University of Al Azhar, uh, he made a fatwa that any Muslim she go in the bus, she have to give her breast, her boobs to strangers. Okay. All of Egypt went crazy against this guy and they start insulting him thinking that he is a crazy So they invited him for an interview on the TV and they questioned him about his mental maybe he have a mental problem I mean, how you mm -hmm. do how you say that? You know, okay. so the guy he showed them the hadith that I am NOT the one who said that it's your prophet So if I you accuse me that this is a mental issue that means you are accusing the prophet that this is a mental issue of your prophet Okay. And since he mentioned that, nobody dared to question. But yet, nobody will practice it. You know. <laughs> but nobody still. Nobody will practice. Still, they don't do it. <laughs> yeah, nobody will practice it. So it is a shameful teaching, uh, disgusting, and you know, uh, uh, it's it's exists there, and the Muslims didn't know what to do with it. What we can do with this? I mean, Muhammad obviously he have a mental issue. What? Why a man will that do? Uh, 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 say such a thing. What is the logic? No. Yeah. So, 
you're saying they they know better yeah you see here we go let me I, I found the fatwa this is the BBC let me put it for you in the screen guys read with me one of the Sunni most uh, prestigious institution this is a high like an, an organization the highest source of Islam what he issue is to this discipline a cleric after issue a, de a decree allowing allowing women to breast feed their male quarries do you see it yeah my screen is a bit behind who is I the guy who is the guy they accuse him of that <laughs> dr uzzat ataya who is the guy he is the dean of the azhar university <laughs> you know this guy is not a joke. This this guy he, he is the one who gave PhD to people to be PhD in Islam. His specialty, his specialty is hadith. All right. Oh, okay. So this is not anyone. You see, look, in this fatwa, Doctor Ataya, the head. Do you see the call? Uh, uh, it says the head of Al Azhar Department of Hadith. <laughs> So he's this, actually a hadith scientist. This is not, yeah, this is not only a hadith scientist, he is the head of all the scientists, he's the boss, and he was chosen for that job because he's the best between them, right? Like when, when they put you but you the head of all the scholars, obviously, you are the best of the scholars. Yeah, so the head of the Azhar department of hadith said such a teaching could equally apply to adult. He said that if women fed male colleague direct from her breast at least five times they would establish a family bond <laughs> <laughs> and thus and thus will be allowed to be alone together muslims are you reading with me abdul huh and then he continues saying breastfeeding an adult puts an end to problem of the private meeting and does not ban marriage. So what the point of it? So which means I can still marry this woman after I suck her her, her nipples. You, you know what I mean? So it's mean it's that it's I can have sex with her. So how? What do you mean family bond? How we can sit together now after she gave me her breast, huh? And suck it ten different times in ten different days, and that will not prevent me from marrying the same woman. So what the what what exactly how the purpose? Did you say that? Uh, <laughs> and a woman at work. Can take off the veil or reveal her hair in front of someone whom she breastfeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to apply for jobs in Muslim companies. I hope I will get a job there. Yeah, I, I gotta check. That does off. does that come come with the bon the bonus uh, in the contract, Muslims? That Muslim women who work with us, they are going to breastfeed us. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you know that can backfire though. <laughs> you know, you, you can work with the woman, and she's like, "Well, let me breastfeed you, so we can work together alone." And you're like, "Uh, uh you? <laughs> yeah, I, can I just like forge a birth certificate or something? I really have to suck with you." <laughs> you know, <laughs> another way to do there, that. there's other, there's other uh, in, in that in that interview. She said to him. So if a woman she wanna go in the bus or a train, she have to or airplane, she have to be breastfeeding for adult or all of them? He said yes. This is religion. Do you really Muslim believe in this this garbage? This is religion. You want to debate us about how you believe in Jesus, but you want to believe in such a garbage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's it, it's clear, I guess that they have an idea of the way it is and what what they're supposed to say, what their religion says in their head, but it doesn't line up with what the Quran says or what the Hadith say. And when you show them, you know, the conflict, they still stick to what they believed in the first place. They don't really adhere to the Quran or the Hadith at all in the first place. You know, this at the end of the day, they want to believe what they already believed in the first place. Mm. Well, just, yeah, somebody is saying there is a fatwa. They say that uh, uh, breastfeeding for adult is uh, is bad. My friend, anyone who says something against the prophet is not accepted. The prophet says so. Who dare to say it's wrong? Who dare? Well, what they say to you? Look what they say. They say in the time of the prophet, it was more acceptable. Now it's not. 
it fit with the time of the prophet what make it fit in the time of the prophet men are men at the time of the prophet and today I never heard that a woman she can sit in a private with the man she give him her boob because obviously they were going to have sex next because if now she gave me her breast what is next yeah you know yeah. I can sit with the women and I should I will not dare even to talk to her unless she try maybe she should invite me to something because you know uh, men and women they, they 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 can exchange signals of liking each other or they want to do something so the women she the women when the women she take off her shirt and show her breast and she give me her boobs and then I lay down in her bed in her bed and start sucking in her breast I mean what who is going to stop the man from doing what is more from breastfeeding there's no way the man will stop there well, yeah, but if she's do if she's doing that, she doesn't want him to stop anyway. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, it just doesn't coincide with human nature, you know. Which it it actually makes me ask the question: What was the reality on the ground at the time these hadith were collected that that could actually make it? You know, that made the cut, as Hamza says. You know, it passed. It passed. You know. Um, when they collected these hadith, uh, allegedly they threw most of the stuff out. This is not the this is not the stuff that was thrown out. This is the stuff that made it. So, what was the reality on the ground to make? Um, was this in Muslim or, or was that in Ibn Majah? But you see, whichever you, you need to ask yourself, what make Muhammad say such a stupid thing? Why, yeah, but, but why in the world this man even he come with such an idea? Nobody practices idea before, right? What makes him say that? And yeah. then two centuries make sense. later, the, you cannot explain a crazy man. There's no way to explain a crazy man. I mean, obviously yeah, but, this guy is a perverted man. He like it. He wanted to do something, you know. So yeah. uh, uh, Muhammad, he have no rules. It's called the rules of uh, uh, ethic. You see, the the first yeah. thing you examine about Muhammad, he have no ethic, and this is a, an additional proof that he have zero ethic. How you say to the women? Cover yourself, don't show yourself to a stranger, and then you order them to give their boobs to strangers. Yeah, but even that, two centuries later, you know, Muslims threw out a lot of stuff that Muhammad did because it didn't fit with what they thought. You know, there's stuff in, in Ibn Hisham, Ibn Hisham the other guy threw out. Was it Ibn Hisham first? And then Ibn Hisham, yeah. Ibn Hisham, Ibn Hisham threw out stuff that Ibn Hisham wrote because he didn't like the way it sounded. And even with that, the hadith writers they still they say well the biography got some stuff that's that's not all accurate because basically it makes the prophet look bad but this they didn't think makes the prophet look bad you know so i'm trying to imagine myself being actually on the ground in an islamic country at the time when a hadith writer thinks that this is okay to write this down <laughs> to legitify this you know yeah when they, how bad when they start noticing that it is it is a, it's a problem they start trying to get away with it that's the you see uh, why those things were not embarrassing for 1400 years right and now today is and they, today they are trying to deny them right you know? uh, right how but, is it but, but before people they are uneducated and most even people do not even know what is written there you know? yeah i guess it's possible to yeah because yeah, most of people they are farmers i mean all the time you know um i was talking to a muslim the other day and um i said well you know that jesus is on the throne with allah that's what that's what the quran says and she said well we don't believe that he's on the throne and i said well do you think that allah is on the throne well yeah he's on the throne or sometimes they say that he's he's everywhere sometimes they say he's on the throne but i make the point says well wherever you think allah is that's where Jesus is, Isa. That's where Isa is. That's what the Quran says in, in a verse 355. You know, 
Yeah. Everybody always talks about, you know, is it die being raised or is it sleep being raised? But you missed the part where it says that Jesus is all the way. He, he raised Jesus to himself. And that means that Jesus looks over at Allah. He doesn't look up at Allah. He looks over. That's, that's just what it says. But they don't he didn't really accept that because what the Quran says doesn't really matter at the end of the day. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's what they wanted to say that matters. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I, I hear this word. I, I never saw this before. I never heard this before. I never see this before. I never learned this before. Where do you get this from? Every day, every day. And then the Muslim, they notice they got busted that this is reality. This is what they have. This is a religion. And we are not lying. We show every, everything in the screen. We show the number. We show the page. We show the reference. We don't make speeches. We prove it. And then in order just to get away with it, they say we don't accept it. Okay, who care? But you know yourself that this is what you have in your books. And you know yourself that this is your religion. And the one who says to me that in Islam is based on two divine, the Hadith and the Quran, that is the most stupid answer ever to believe in, in religion. Because now you are saying to me that your God could not preserve his religion in a book. So now he have, his book is not perfect. Because, uh, because if the book is perfect, you do not need a hadith. What hadith? The conversation, yeah. a talk. So the, the book is not perfect. Allah's word is not enough to make you practice Islam. So what's the point of this book? What about sending everything in the hadith? And why and now, uh, why Allah did not preserve the hadith as long the Quran is not enough? As long Islam is not based only in the Quran, why the hadith should not be preserved by Allah too? As long Islam is based on the hadith, at the same time it's based on the Quran. Yeah, stupid talk. Yeah, and and if and if you need other books, why don't you go to the uh, to the Bible, Old and New Testament, like it tells you to do? Yeah. <laughs> why do you have to invent a new one when it tells you to look at the old stuff? Uh, CP, one other thing I want to bring up before I uh, let you go to the next caller here. The last hadith you mentioned um, when you said Muhammad, when it talks about his aorta being cut, his aorta being cut. Yeah. And then he, how he got himself busted later on, said, "Well, he had forgot he had put in the Quran that if he was telling falsehoods, that his aorta could be, you know, Allah would cut his aorta. Couldn't that be interpreted another way? That basically that's Aisha trying to tell us that Muhammad is false without being, you know, without coming right out and saying that he's false." Yeah. Well. Um. You see, uh, what, uh, what I think about this, that Muhammad is not aware of what he said before now, what he is, uh, his concern now, he's dying. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when, when the person is dying, he forget about anything else because nothing is important anymore. So he starts okay. saying things as it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like yeah. this is why you see a, a person who is in the, in, the, in, the, in the stage of death, suddenly he turned to be a good person. Suddenly... He want to fix what he did in the last moment, you know. He want to ask for forgiveness. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Muhammad now he is not worried about things he said before. He's not worried about being a prophet or not. He is worried about the pain he have in his stomach. You know? Okay. Okay. So you don't think this is Aisha trying to send us any messages? You think it's no, just no, no, no. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's most. Uh, I mean, there is no reason for her to say that. You see, there's no reason. And, uh, and you will notice that nobody says to her, they would never heard this before. Obviously, Muhammad he was saying that to others too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, right, well. anyway, everything is possible, but for us, we cannot judge except by what we have. You know what I mean? Yes, you're just saying. Yeah. When we speak to Muslims, we have to show them what is in their books and whatever their books saying, okay, they have to live with it. It's not us who made those books. It's not us who I am not Aisha. I'm not the one who report what Aisha said. I'm just reading for you what is says there. Okay, I get just, just like in other words, just like any other hadith. Yeah. Uh you either take one, you take if you take one, you take them all. If you reject one, you reject them all. And you know, if you, you, can't pick if you, and, you can't pick and choose like if that. you want to play games, you can reject all one you want and you can accept all one you want. <laughs> yeah, but you, you can't let them do that though. You know, it, it's either either the collection, either the methodology was correct or it was not. You know, you can't pick and choose to take what you want when you want to take it and then don't take it when you don't want to take it. Yeah. You, know, you just that's not a methodology for determining anything. All it is 
is just an excuse to to believe and do what you want to do anyway, yeah. which which we actually see from people all the time. Right. Uh, CP, that, that's all I had, man. I thank, I, you. I, thank, I, you, thank, thank you for taking you. my call. Thank you, you, you my friend. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Uh, Tamara, you said you want to call. Go ahead, call me. Looked like Tamara want to call us. Any Muslim? Maybe, maybe. Any Muslim want to try his muscles? Somebody saying, why you are people of fighting over religion? We are not fighting. They are fighting us. We are proving them wrong. Hello? 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 Hey, how are you, Tamara? Hey, I'm good. What are you eating? Hello? Hello? See, this is what happened when you eat shish kebab without inviting your friends. Your voice is gone. See what happened? You eat shish kebab and hummus and you didn't invite us? Are you there? Tamara? Well, look like she lost. Are you Hello? There? Yeah, I hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. I was asking a Muslim, show me where it says that in the Quran where Muhammad is the last prophet. So he came up with this surah at surah 33, verse 40. Okay. Can you explain, can you explain that verse? Uh, Quran 33? Yes. Verse 40. Yes. Okay. He, what, what he wanted to prove to you by that, you said? Um, he's proving to me that it says that um, it said Muhammad is not the father of anyone mm. of your men, mm. but he is a messenger of Allah and mm. last of the prophets, mm. and ever is Allah of all things. And yeah, mm. okay, no problem. I will answer you. Anything else tomorrow? That'll be all. That's it. All right. Well, I hope that the Muslim himself will call me so we can answer him better way. And we can uh, talk about it so we can see more more understanding for him for what he's saying however this is the verse in front of us first of all the muslims they have a very wrong idea you can hear me from uh, from youtube tomorrow if you are done are you done Yes, I can okay. hear you. Yes. All right. Uh, listen to me from YouTube. So, you know, the, because the voice, they are complaining about the voice is not good. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is the chapter. And let us read the translation made by Muslims. Okay. Muhammad is not the father of any among you, but he is a messenger of Allah and he is the seal of the prophet. First of all, the idea of having a seal of a prophet is a very silly idea because if God, he was willing to send 124,000 prophets according to Islam and Muslims, why Allah now decide to stop sending more prophets? Especially the Quran said in different verse that Allah never sent a messenger but in the language of his own people, which mean in order to be in order to send a messenger, he is going to send him only from the people speaking the tongue of the people, chapter 14, verse number 4. And that means that the messenger he will be sent, or Allah will send the messenger, to every single language in the world. But this has never happened. So if this verse is accurate, then the Quran should not say Muhammad is the last messenger because Allah did not send a messenger for the Buddhas for the Chinese China is not one nation by the way Chinese is many many tribes and many ethnic groups uh, same as Russia same as uh, Malaysia same as Indonesia same India alone I think is like 400 languages I don't know how many so in order to send a messenger just for India you have if India have 400 languages then we have to send 400 messengers, Muslim messengers, to India alone. 
speaking the tongue of every ethnic group. The Muslims, they lie and they say to us that Muhammad is a messenger for all the world. But if this is true, then this verse here is a fabricated verse. Because as you see, Allah will never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people. Right? Do you see it, guys? We send not, which means there's no exception. We send not, no exception, a messenger, except in the language of his own people. Which means there's two things, there's two requirements for this messenger to be considered to be a messenger. He have to speak the tongue of the people, and those have to be his own people, which means he cannot be a foreigner. Are we are we getting the idea, guys? Are we getting the idea? Oh, let me turn this thing off. Yeah, Twitter. The tweet is blocking the screen. All right. Are we getting the idea? If the Quran is putting the, the, the criteria of uh, who can be a prophet and how prophet will be sent, how Muhammad can be qualified here? How Muhammad can be qualified to be a messenger for Pakistan? Or Bangladesh? Or Eritrea? Or Ethiopia? Or Iraq? Or, 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 or? Because you have to speak the tongue of people who they are, his own people, not any people. So here, is, this is a very clear contradiction for the Quran. However, if we go back to the to the to the verse here, where it says, "Muhammad is not the father of any among you." Anyone can see connection between saying that and he is the seal of the Prophet. Let us see who of you is fast, and he have a deep thought. What this have to do? Why the verse here mentioning that he is not the father of any among you? With stating that he is the seal of the prophet. By the way, what I'm going to say to you, nobody teach it, nobody see it. This is my own discovery. You will never find this in any book, any interpretation, anyone. This is my own study. You remember the Quran says that Allah, he made from the seeds of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob the prophethood do you remember from who from the seed of Isaac and Jacob all right so it's confirmed in the Quran the Quran believe that from the children of Isaac and Jacob will be the prophethood chapter 29 verse number 27 but that mean that mean this is unlimited promise and that will be contradiction for Muhammad being the last prophet correct because the prophethood is going to be from who? From the children of Isaac and Jacob, as many as they have a children. It doesn't say that the Jews, you have a lost prophet. It says, no, from those guys, we have prophet from their seeds, from all their seeds. All right. So now Muhammad, he want to confirm that Isaac and Jacob, they were messengers to the Jews, and they, from their seeds, there's prophet. But he have no seed and that is what he meant by saying he is the last prophet for the Arab because this guy he got the idea that the prophet come from the seed of a prophet are you are you getting my point prophets come from the seed of a prophet not from the seed of someone else and that will be another contradiction because the verse here confirmed that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Because if the verse here saying that the prophethood is and the revelation is coming from who? From the children of Isaac and Jacob. 
then how Muhammad is going to be a prophet? The only way for the Muslim, they say to you, they say to you, oh, he is from Ishmael. Well, Ishmael is not mentioned here. Any Muslim can explain to me why the name of Ishmael is dropped? Are you getting my point? The Muslim, they claim that Muhammad is from the seed of Ishmael, which is false. This is absolutely a big fat lie. And sadly, some Christian churches, blindly, they keep saying that the Arab are from Ishmael. The Arab have nothing to do with Ishmael. Whoever says, says that to you in the church, he is just repeating, copy-paste. Arab have nothing to do with Ishmael. Even in Muslim books, they agree that Ishmael, he learned Arabic in the age of 13. Some, they say 11. How he learned Arabic from them, and he is, but yet he is their father. <laughs> and just to show you the ignorance of some who claim to be scholars in Christianity, who teach in churches, they say to you, that Ishmael he married from an Arab woman. Arab Arab is not an ethnic. Arab is a desert. People of the desert. Whoever lives in the desert is is an Arab. This is why we see that the one we are called Arab we look different. Some of us we have white skin. Some of us we have darker. But there is no black. You know, it all is the Middle Eastern. You know, Mediterranean color. Uh, but they are not one ethnic, and there is not no ethnic. Whoever lives in the desert, they call him Arab. Arab is an Aramaic word, mean desert. And this is why you see there is Arab, Arab, Arabia and there is Ara, Aram. Aram is a name mean the high hills. You see, if a place is high, they call it Aram. The children of Aram is those who live in mountains. The children of, they call them Arab, those who live in the desert. In, Arab, in other way, in the old Aramaic language, the word Arab not only mean um, like people of the desert, it means the savage. It's like you say gypsy. In the Latin language, gypsy, you know, people who move from place to place and they do whatever to make a living. All right. So, uh, in this verse here, Muhammad, he got himself busted again because you are saying that Isaac and Jacob, and they are the only one from the children of Abraham, their seed is going to be prophethood. So, how you became a prophet? So, Muhammad trying to copy. And trying to resemble himself to the Jews that from the seeds of prophets there's prophets but he have no seeds so Muhammad here is saying because he have no seed Muhammad was not the father of any of your children and this is why he is the seal of the prophet the seal of the prophet for who for the Arab however I challenge any Muslim to call me and to prove to me that Muhammad was a prophet anyway in order to be the seal of the prophet how Muhammad is a prophet, but he have a false prophecy. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He have false prophecy. He was, he's a false prophet. And we can show you tons of reference. You know, when Muhammad, he prophesy in many ways about many things even he put his nose in the in the women vagina as we showed you before. He claimed that if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if the women have if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy let's see if we can find you the hadith Uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow we will, we can do we can go that for that. It's getting late for now, but anyway, I hope maybe tomorrow if any Muslim would like to call us, please remind me where we stop, and we will be happy to continue about this topic or any other topic. But remember one thing, Muslims. I don't accept games. You cannot play games with me. I am different from all the names you know before. Make your reference handy. Bring your proofs. I don't accept the speeches. And I advise you, actually, Muslims, to invite your scholars to call me. I mean, why you want to call me and say to me, I'm not a scholar? Why you don't call your sheikh and say to him, well, there's a guy, his name is a Christian prince, and honestly, we need you to get him busted. You see, the guy, the one who uh, who, who spoke to me uh, 
I don't know where he's from, maybe Nigeria or etc. But he claimed he lived in America. Uh, he, this guy is a sheikh, and in his name in Skype, he, he have a name sheikh. So he claimed to be a sheikh, but he could not prove anything. He's a Shia. He hates the Sunni. He want to, you know, go in war with the Sunni. But he have a blah 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 talk, but he cannot prove to us anything. He cannot give us reference. When I say to him, show me one reference, one scholar agree with you, he don't quote for me any. We don't accept such a kind of a shake because that is shaky. The second you say it's not what it says, it's not what you are saying, then you have to prove it. You cannot just throw your ball and say, you, you see, I don't do what happened between Hijab and David Wood. David Wood was a very kind person who did not hold Hijab from his ear and grab him from his tail and hang him in the hang him hang him in the nail in front of everybody to expose him. Hijab was lying after lie after lie after lie, and nobody spanked him. It's not his fault. I don't let that happen. You make a lie, I will spank you immediately. Not tomorrow, not the day after. Hello. Hello. How are you, Siti? How are you, my friend? Great. Um, the, I was listening to you. Um, I think about. Uh, Two days ago, when the Muslim guy called about Exodus chapter 21, verse 20 to 21, verse yes. 20 to 21. Okay. When I look at the Exodus, truly the Bible did not allow um, death to, um, a, a killing is to be punished. When I read that, they say, if any man smith his servant or is made with a rod and he die under his hand, it shall surely be punished. When we look at verse 2, 21, it said, notwithstanding, if continue a day or two, not the death, if someone be killed the day, cannot live again. It said, he shall not be punished for his money. It's not dead, it's beaten. If the beating continue in the second day or today, but if anyone killed, it's not yeah, anyway, anyway, that, that, put it auto. yeah, that event that event happened because simply, first of all, the guy, the, 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 the owner of the slave is not beating him to kill him, right? Yes, this, this yes. is not the purpose. But we showed him from the Quran where the Quran is speaking about a murder, not a beating. In the case of murder, if a free man kill, a free man will be killed, but not a slave, you know. Not, not, not a, you know, if I kill a slave man, no free man will be killed, it's a slave. So the Quran come with a solution. They used to, let us say, two tribe, and a free man, white man, he killed uh, a slave from the other tribe. So what the other tribe do? They go and kill a free man. Muhammad yes. is trying to correct them. He said, you don't do that. If a free man kill a free man, you kill the free man. You don't kill his slave. If a slave was killed, you kill a slave. So now we have two victims. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a stupidity. Same time, you see, when, when somebody wanna wanna compare the book of Exodus, what is the word what is the word Exodus mean? The exit. The exit. exit. Thank you. Okay, exit from what? Exit from slavery, right? Yes. Those yes. people themselves they are slaves. Those people themselves they are slaves. The whole nation of Israel are slaves. And nobody can understand how harmful slavery is as much as somebody he himself is a slave, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. So they are not that they are not encouraging slavery, but they are slaves themselves. This is what they are living, this is how it is, what they can do about it. They cannot fix it, they cannot change it. The whole nation is a slave to the point the book is called the book of Exodus, which means escape to run to exit. Exit from what? Exit from slavery. It's true. So in order to understand what happened at that time, we have to go back one time and see who are they, those people we are talking about and what kind of life they have. They themselves, they are slaves. Nobody suffered from slavery as, as much as this nation. Until now, actually, uh, when Hitler, he start, you know, capturing them and put them in, them in cages and burn them and killing them, six millions. Six millions were burned alive. I mean, this is not long time ago. Hmm. This is not even 50, 60 years ago. So it's not it's not something like, uh, you know, like uh, it's gone from long time. Those people, they've been through a lot of, 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 uh, of hard time. Slavery by the Egyptians, slavery by the Assyrian, 
and then slavery later by you know the Nazi and the Arab and etc. Muhammad he killed them, Hitler he killed them. Wherever they go, they get killed. Even they have war with the Christians and they've been killed. You know, so in order to understand what happened for certain groups, we have to go and live in that time. And I'm not saying we go back on time and live really literally, but we have to understand what was there, who are they, what was happening to them. When there was a you know a law for slavery at that time, at the time when the slave have no law, have no rights. You know what I mean? Yes. At, at that time, this this law was like wow. I mean, this is very civil. It might look for you now savage. Well, this is the land of savagery at that time. Everybody is savage. We are talking about thousands of years ago. I think Jesus has moved us forward. Yeah. He has moved us forward. And then, and, and then, uh, we need to ask ourselves. Uh, was back. Yeah. So, and you notice, you know, you notice a Muslim. He would love to debate you about the Old Testament when we are people who don't really follow the Old Testament. This is the law was given to the Jews, not for me. And why he tried to do that? Because he want to take you thousands of years ago, and then he tried to prove to you that you believe in a savage religion. Well, Muhammad, he came thousand years, thousand of years after he was savage to the point we cannot even compare. That's true. And also, I read uh, your book. I was reading about. I wanted to talk about it in the last time. Uh, but uh, Muhammad cannot intercede for his own mother. If Muhammad cannot intercede for his own mother, how do you think he's going to intercede for the rest? Because I was reading your book today, and I look at it, um, Adith, book four, um, book four, Adith two and three nine, as you put it in your book. Yeah, there's, a, there's contradiction, there's contradiction there. There's contradiction about intercede, right? There's contradiction because sometimes it says he intercedes, sometimes it says nobody can intercede. However, the, the one you are talking about, Muhammad, he asked Allah for three things, and one of them is to intercede to his mother. And Allah refused. Why Allah he refused? Because she was a kafir. But this is a stupid. Why? Do you remember the story where Muhammad he slept with the grave in the grave of uh, mother of Ali? No, not really. <laughs> okay. There is a story where it says that Muhammad he slept with the mother of Ali in her grave. He slept in her grave. If you ask the Muslim why he slept in her grave, they say because he wanna in like a light the pressure of the grave on her. That's mean he is in doing intercession. Okay. How Allah accept the intercession over the mother of somebody else, but he don't accept the intercession over his mother? Mm. You know what I mean? It's stupid. I mean, the, the whole thing is a stupid. There's, there's no logic. There's no rule. It's, it's, a, it's a madman saying stupid things. Mm. And also, what I want to say lastly is that, uh, as you always said, that uh, even though our God is uh, two or three, so far is true God. And to us, a Christian is working for us, except Muslim is in need before they able to experience the benefit we are gaining in we are gaining in Christ. As Wawali said, I think every Christian should know that if what I used to, all three so far is our true God that made a promise for us of heaven. And secondly, we are not going to the same heaven. Why are we worrying? Only we need to show them the truth, but we are not going to the same heaven. Our heaven is different. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for everybody who was here. And uh, tomorrow we will be here again. Uh, who want me to be on air tomorrow? Give me one if you like to be here. And this is a real vote, not, not a fake vote. <laughs> not like an Arabian vote. <laughs> Uh, you know, when Saddam Hussein was a president, thank you guys, we will be here tomorrow, I promise you. Uh, when Saddam Hussein was a president, there was members of the parliament, His their hands is up. They asked him, why your hands is up? He said, for the coming vote, we agree. <laughs> who, who dare to say no? It doesn't matter what you are voting for, we will say yes. So uh, really, I'm happy to have you guys. And please share share the account with your friends and tell them more. And don't forget, please, to watch the video which I made today about Muhammad Hijab, which is down there, and it's called Muhammad Hijab causing insult, adding insult to injury. 
watch the video it's just down in the info of the broadcast don't forget to watch it and download it we will be here 3 30 p.m new york time 3 30 p.m new york time and the reason i do it in this time so i can have both from europe and from usa and from canada and from any other places you know it is the most uh, it is the most uh, uh, muhammad hassan you can call me tomorrow we are done the most uh, like the best time for gathering people from around the world if we can say uh, what's wrong with you kid call me tomorrow don't you see you are leaving do you think i'm going to stay here until tomorrow <laughs> Muhammad Hassan is going crazy. <laughs> it's it was a hard spanky, my friend. What I can't do, my friend, get some Vaseline, huh? And uh, baby, baby, baby shampoo, and take a shower. And maybe by tomorrow, the red, the red spanky will be lighter. And come back tomorrow and call me. I will be waiting for you. Trust me. We are here every day. Don't be desperate. Tomorrow, three thirty, Mr. Hassan. I would be here for free to call me all right and say hi to daddy and to mommy please all right anyway guys may the lord bless you and enter we'll see you tomorrow 3 30 p.m new york time east coast time until then we say goodbye and may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false made by a false man for false men god who promise sexual organs is a vagina vendor god cannot be god when he promised such a promise we know god from his ethic his teaching even a human being the lord he said you shall know them from their fruits what kind of a fruit the god of islam provide us examine the fruit my friend and you will know who is the true god the true god don't teach faith don't support faith and don't promote faith he is holy his name is holy and everything about him is holy that is my lord that is not your lord i want every muslim to listen carefully and ask himself why my god his promises is not holy why the holiness is providing faith that is impossible it's against the nature of god it's against who is god and what he what he present thank you very much christ is lord and see you tomorrow bye bye